This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Baby making music. Dangle clacks, dangle clacks. <laughs> okay, let's check for some dangle clacks. Let's check for some dangle clacks. Oh, I think we're all good. <clears throat> all right. Well, hello and welcome, Mother Truck, and welcome and hello, you guys. Today is Thursday which means that it is vlog day. I think, I think I say this every single week. Been looking forward to vlog day. Appreciate you guys being here. Legion Vapes is here, you guys. Legion Vapes, Just Josh, I see you there in the chat. Sexy Kingfield, Pulsey, Tom, Addy Tooney, J Money, Landshark, because Nick told me to. <laughs> that is J Money, Landshark in the intro. I told him to because Nick told me to. Cracks me up every single time. I have to give a humongous shout out to Bradley Livestreams. I think I saw you in the chat not too long ago he did that whole number he did that whole intro and did the whole music for it and everything and honestly that five minute hold screen it's got to be one of my favorite five favorite five minute oh sorry i'm having a dangle clack over here favorite five minute hold screen i've seen so far so far i've only seen backwards driving in canada which is great you know i love it but the drum jam to seventh floor tango was solid. Go back and watch that five minute hold screen again. Fast forward to like when the counter says like a minute and 40 seconds left and he does those like cymbal grabs. Dun, dun. Come on, that's cool. That's cool. Well, if anybody else out there has a five minute hold screen, just five minutes of something appropriate for YouTube, Send it over to me. I'd love to use it uh, in this stream. You know, I try to think of a little fun five minute hold screen every Thursday. And after years and years, it's like, well, why don't you guys do it? Why, <laughs> why don't you guys do it? I'm just kidding. But if you do have a video and you think I have a video idea that would be perfect for that five minute hold screen, send it on over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Nick at grimgreen.com, just send it over. Sewer Rugs here. Ashton is here. I saw Frames Jenklin pop in the chat as well. Brendan Switzer's here. Vicky and Benji are here. Jangles is here. Okay, I'll stop doing the rundown, but uh, Tribal Buddy, you sent one? All right. Since Tribal Buddy is here, actually, we're going to do a, we're gonna do an all Tribal Buddha liquid tasting at the very end of this vlog. So really, Tribal Buddha, you only have to pay attention to the end <laughs> if you really, you know, if you're sidetracked or anything like that. If you're distracted, if you're multitasking. I want to do an all tribal Buddha, uh, very random liquid tasting. I'm down. That's what we're doing tonight. In fact, real quick, you guys, let me just give you a real quick rundown as far as what's coming up, what's going on tonight. Uh, I feel like I have a full on action packed vlog, but we never really know until we get going, but we're going to do beer. Uh, I got a great beer in front of me. We got assignment America. We're going to do some hot action, uh, hot retro vaping action. I believe it's almost Stu Rep's birthday. I saw it, Stu Rep. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. Megs is kind of here. It's good enough for me. We're going to do some news. We're going to do some mail. I wanted to also attempt to run a test tonight. I have something I want to give away, and uh, I'm going to see how feasible it is to just give something away live on a live stream and, and get a winner live on a live stream. It's just a test. It's just going to be a test but if it works, then the future of live stream giveaways uh, looks a little bit brighter if this test works. Huh. Uh, we're going to do mail. Like I said, we're going to do some getting to know Grim Green. We're going to do an all tribal Buddha liquid tasting at the end. And if 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 I'm correct, then in my vape mail, I should have uh, Vape and Bogan's new stubby. 
should have Vape and Bogan's new stubby device in there. If that's the case, then absolutely we're going to build it and set it up and vape it as soon as humanly possible. I actually have a, an e-liquid set aside for the stubby. Do not worry. We will cross that bridge when we get there. I know. I know. Blind test. We're just going to test it. We're just going to test it. I don't even have any water to hydrate. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm gonna, there might be some winging it happening tonight. Just a little bit of winging it. Uh, of course, we're going to sing some birthdays because there's some birthdays freaking happening in and around and near and on the actual vlog day that's happening right now. But uh, yeah, that's the rundown before, before I get to any sort of beer or anything like that, I had two Super Chats happen before the stream started. Uh, I'm glad I screen captured them. Let's see. Uh, this one. Yep. Ben. Ben. Very super gracious of you, Ben. I really appreciate that. He says, can I get a shout out for my apprentice, Claire? We watch every Thursday from the shop. Written down. Already written down. Ben Porter, apprentice, Claire. Boosh. Consider it done when we get there, Ben Porter. Another one right before the stream started. Eifer. Eifer. My man, Eifer. Going to be part of the replay crew celebrating my fiance's birthday. Yo, yo, and have a great vlog, y'all. Eifer. A, happy birthday to your fiance. May I'll include uh, Eifer's fiance in the birthday, in the birthday song celebrations. <laughs> I forgot. I can't. Can I say the word celebration at all, or can I just not say it's a celebration? I wasn't sure. I'm not sure what the statute of limitations is on that. But uh, yeah, a couple super chats before the stream started. If you have any super chats, there's never any pressure for super chats. Um, but if you want to get one in, get one in. We do it at the end of every segment. What I'd like to do right now, according to my very professional, super like really good penmanship. Super professional, diligent notes. I think it's time for beer. All righty, the beer we have tonight. I, up until yesterday afternoon, believed this beer to have come from Canada. I thought this came from Meg's. She's in the chat. She sent me some beer. I thought this was one of Meg's beers. Turned out it's, turns out it's totally not. Turns out this is a face meat beer. Face meat in his other care package. I think it was. I think this was last week actually. He sent that weird Genesis atomizer. He sent over the KSA light and crisp Kolsch style ale. It's only a four and a half percenter Four Point Beer Company. I love it. Getting beers from like, why is my why am I sweating over my eyeballs right now? What, what, what was that? That was weird. It's still happening. Am I leaking? I've sprung a leak. What's going on right here? Is my eyebrow leaking? Is it, there's a bunch of weird mystery moisture. Maybe it was from the can. Huh? Maybe I don't know. I'm crazy. This is the beer. It came from Face Meat. I'm really excited about it. And what I was going to say is I like getting beers. And this isn't like a call to action to send Nick beer. But I like getting beers from patrons and subscribers that are like their favorite beers. I think that's a that's a cool thing you can share with someone who's into beer. You go, well, well here, try my favorite beer. You like it? You don't like it? If you do, you know, it's like it's great. And, I, and even if I don't like it, I still like trying other people's like favorite beers it's just a cool thing i don't know if this is one of face meets favorite beers or not but look it could become one of mine right now mick see mick's more of a jack and diet for the yes look different folks whatever floats your boat whatever floats your teeth get into it you could just you could have just said jack i'd be fine with that just jack and jack jack and glass you know Anyway, we're going to be pouring this. It's going to be nice and light and crispy into a uh, Grim Army, very old tulip style glass. This, How refreshing right now does this beer look? We've been in the middle of a Southern California heat wave. And this beer 
just looks like the most refreshing, crispy deliciousness in the history of crispy, freshy deliciousnesses. Going to have to drink through that head like a man. Anyway, cheers, vloggers. Appreciate you guys being here. Hope you got something good next to you. Hope you got some, maybe some Jack next to you. Whoa, that's uh. I drank it. It's like I drank it and I don't even remember drinking it. It's got like the lightest, crispiest. It, it's like very slightly citrusy, very slightly florally, super clean finish. No like bitterness or jowl cloying or like anything weird. It's not overly sweet. I, I, I used to use this word completely incorrectly. Like, <laughs> dude, throughout like all of... 2016, like basically the entire year, I was using the term sessionable completely wrong, completely wrong. I heard someone say it and I thought I was using it correctly. And I described many beers as sessionable. I did not know what sessionable means. I know what sessionable means now. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I think this beer could be uh, quite sessionable. Yeah. 100%. This is a beer you want to drink 30 of. It, it's, a, it's a light Kolsch-style ale. I mean, there's not really what, much way to describe it. It's like if you like, uh, I don't know, light beers, like uh, non-threatening, just crispy, light, tasty, refreshing brew. That's the only way I can describe this. That's that's my that's my years of sensory <laughs> sensory work. That's what it's come down to. It's it's good. It's just good. I can't think of any other way to describe this. I'll say something but people will get mad. It's like a better like MGD or something like that. Like it reminds me of drinking just a canned American beer but what, much better, much higher quality, crispier, more flavorful, cleaner. Boosh. This is delicious. This would pair with literally anything on my desk. In fact, let's just pair it. Turk's Watermelon. Right now. Why not? Turk's Watermelon. Perfect. It's light, it's crispy, the watermelon and these light beer flavors, these citrus notes, they just go together like perfectly. I don't think there's a I don't think there's a vape on my desk that would pair poorly with this. None. Maybe maybe the cake batter Escobar disposable. That's the only thing on my desk that I think might not pair with this beer. So of course we have to try it. Yeah, still, still, even that kind of pairs well with this beer. What a delicious experience. I, I immediately want a, a hundred of these. This is a, an, this is a, an amazing summertime beer. I'm glad I'm drinking it now at the end of the heat wave as we're, as we're finally getting out of this heat wave, finally getting out of summer a little bit, getting into some, uh, you know, Everybody's favorite season, pumpkin season. You know what I mean. Anyway, hey, uh, we're a beer down. Feels good, man. Uh, I think I saw a super chat come in. So let's go check in on a. No, nope, that's it. That's all we have time for. Jedi. Uh, very gracious of you. Lol, Bogan's stubby. <laughs> Catching the live on the way home from work. Uh, East Coast yo-yo meet. Hashtag power bomb the world. Yeah, we are going to do, I promise, the next meet right after Colorado is going to be an East Coast meet. I promise. It's like Coors. <laughs> not, it's not quite like Coors Light, but it's it's it gives me the same vibes as Coors Light. You know, it's got it's 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 a little Coors Lighty, I guess. That's OK. It's just really tasty. I could drink this like water and just drink, you know, 15 of them in the afternoon. Are we running long already? Yeah, I think we are. 
All right, sick. Uh, well, here let me let me interject some uh, some self serving news and some non self serving news. Sifu mustache. Maybe I'm. I, I hope I'm okay with sharing this. It was on our Discord. Sifu mustache uh, bought went and bought some uh, drip tips from Oleg. Oleg in the Ukraine has been my supplier of tall dorky drip tips for the better part of over, well over a year now. Well over a year now. We were, we were kind of wondering what's happening with Oleg in every, and everything that's going on in the Ukraine. Sifu says he got a message back right away after he tried to make an order that said that uh, Oleg's gone fighting in the war. He, he's just, uh, he, apparently he wanted to go defend his country and fight Russians. And uh, I don't know about you, but that makes Oleg, Oleg at least... Like 10 to 15 times cooler in my book. He just went up like 16 notches. It, when when this is over, and hopefully it gets over, and Oleg gets back to drip tips, I'm going to buy a 1,000 drip tips. I think everybody should just buy a trillion drip tips from Oleg. I think that's awesome. So shout out to you, Oleg, defending your country. I love the shit out of it. Uh, and, and hopefully you, you get home safely because the world needs really tall, dorky-looking drip tips. We... <laughs> We need them. I need them, Oleg. I need them. I need them. Uh, let me also mention some self-serving news. Um, I teamed up with Obey Robot to knock out a whole mess of cool merch. Just a whole mess of cool merch. You want to see the Patreon-exclusive banana sticker t-shirt? Yeah, I know you do. That's the Patreon-exclusive banana sticker t-shirt. It's just a banana wearing a skull, and I think that's cool as fuck. Uh, this is my other favorite design that I just love the shit out of this design. It's my favorite one that we did. Nicotine is not a crime. He's holding a heart, you know, heart health. Uh, I just love it. You know, it all comes back to harm reduction. I'll post a link in the description to the Obey Robot store if you want to check them out. Uh, buy some t-shirts, buy some cool clothes for your body, and, uh, you know, it helps, helps support this channel. The reality is I just want to drink this completely down right now completely down. It's only a four and a half percenter. So, you know, no tin foil hats tonight, but it's delicious. I, I honestly just want to chug that beer. I just want to chug that beer. Oh, good point. Good point. Uh, let's address the poll. Let's address the poll in the chat. Uh, it seems, it seems that everybody uh, most everybody, I think, chose the correct answer. Uh, the, the correct answer to this, uh, I don't know if you knew if there was a correct answer or not. Would you rather be a giant hamster or a tiny rhino? And I wasn't specific, like how giant? I don't know, giant. Just picture a giant hamster and picture a tiny rhino and which one do you want to be? I would obviously, yes, like to be the tiny rhino. And thank you for everybody that answered Tiny Rhino. That is the correct answer because it's way cooler than a giant hamster. Imagine waking up and being a giant hamster. What are you going to do? Nothing. Who's going to take you in? Nobody wants a pet giant hamster. But imagine like a little chihuahua-sized rhinoceros. Everybody would want a tiny-sized rhinoceros. Tiny. Just like I could picture a little rhinoceros just sitting on my desk. It'd be so great. Home defense even a little bit. Stab uh, stab intruders with that horn. Tiny rhinoceros. Thank you, uh, tiny rhinoceros. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad most of us. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm glad most of us are on the, uh, on the same page here. <laughs> All right. Well, we're done with beer. We did some super chats. Uh, I th think I have some. I do. I do. Uh, it's time. That's right. It's time for Assignment America. It's actually not Assignment America, despite the music. America, this is you. It is called uh, now Assignment Planet Globe. Just the whole world. The, the mission of this, I just want to see what you're vaping. You know, if you got something new, I want to see it. If you got a, an old school banger, I want to see it. If you get an old retro vape. I want to see it. I want to see your bangers. I want to see what you vape. I like seeing combinations and RDAs and RTAs and like mods and stuff I've never seen before. It brings me a little bit of joy. I hope it brings you guys some joy. Um, first things first, 
Rest in peace, Matt Sinister. Matt Sinister with a cactus cooler will never not put a smile on my face. Rest in peace, Matt Sinister. Of course. Now, Christopher S. sent this in. Let me see if I have an email from Christopher S. explaining what we're looking at right here. Yep. Christopher S. says, hey, Nick, my name's Chris, and because of all this crummy weather, I've been on a bit of a grim green binge. Hey, I'm here for it. I support anybody that wants to do a grim green binge. Why would I, why would I discourage that? Why? I really got to say, I really got to say loved and missed the bro trips. Hopefully COVID will come to an end and we can have vape meets once again. These are my normal setups uh, and not all the best, but all are well used. Keep on vaping. Chris, okay, he didn't explain anything in these pictures, so we just have to speculate. Don't know what that... I, okay, if we're starting from the blue sub-tank, that is a blue sub-tank. That's, that's a mesh sub-tank. I can't remember where it came from. Could be one of the Falcons. Is that the ones, the ones that look like baby barf, but they came in blue as well. I don't remember. That's on top of a drag, a drag one that looks like it's been beat to hell. Next to that is definitely a voo-poo something with the TPP coil heads and the magnetic tank. What is that? The drag X, the drag S. There's a billet box next to that. And next to that, Literally no idea. That could be anything with anything on top. I have no idea. If anybody knows, throw it out there. Couldn't tell you what mod that is. Couldn't tell you what topper that is. Looks like a dual 18650, some sort of banger. It could be free max-ish. That first tank, that could be free max-ish. That could be a free max mesh coil head based tank sewer rug. I don't know what's on there. Christopher... Appreciate you. Appreciate you sending those in. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Anita, Anita in the United Kingdom sent this in. Let me see if I had an email for Anita. I definitely do. Uh, so this is a retro, this is a throwbacky daily banger from Anita in the UK. My original setup in 2016. You know what that is? You see it? You hear the song already? Sub tank mini. A sub tank mini. That's a sub tank mini with a Bex beer. Uh, Anita said, I I'll have to dig this back out after seeing you build and use it on the vlog. That's right. That's one of my missions is to get old vape gear back into regular rotation. The sub tank mini, I don't care what anybody says. It's a banger. Build that RBA base in there. Restricted lung flavor banger. Sub tank mini. Vape stuff from 2016, still definitely relevant. Uh, had a, a collection of photos here from uh, Rollo. Let's get Rollo up here. No, nope, uh, never mind. Rollo just had one. I apologize. Rollo, uh, here's my very well used, trusty setup. Okay, people are telling me that that is the Requiem. Mike Bird says that is the Requiem. If we're going to go back to Christopher here, sorry. The Requiem, is that the, is that the mod? I think the mod, okay, that logo does look kind of familiar on the side. Are you talking about this being the, the Requiem? Yeah, over there on the end, that's the Requiem for sure. I don't know what's on top. I don't think you could possibly tell. I don't think you could possibly tell what's on top. Someone with a really good eye. Back to Rollo. Very well used, trusty setup. I just love the Troll RTA, some homemade RY4. Boom. Oh, roasted. That's it. You got a drag. Probably, I think that's a drag too. I'm not 100% sure. Homemade RY4. Another uh, looks like a dual 18650 banger. Two Troll RTAs. Love it. I like the idea that it's one of my favorite things about Assignment America is that people use gear that I don't use regularly, but I have reviewed. Like I'm familiar with the Troll RTA and I liked the Troll RTA and I think I remember giving the Troll RTA a pretty solid review. I liked it and then I used it for like a month and then I've not seen the Troll RTA since. But Rollo, he's like, I like the Troll RTA. I'm gonna buy a few and that's all I'm gonna use. And I love that. I just find that so fascinating. At being in the position that I'm in where I see so much vape stuff and I only get to use vape stuff for like a really short period of time. 
and I'm I maybe spend a month with the troll, but it's Rollo's like all day banger. Is that an OG drag there, J Money? Oh, it could be. Okay, I believe you. Listen, you worked at slash may also still work at a vape shop, so I'm deferring to you as the subject matter expert here. I couldn't tell you the difference visually looking at a V1 or a V2, <laughs> uh, but that's just me. Uh, lead sled. Here we got two. We got two big pictures here from uh, the lead sled. Um, he sent in a, a, a big long email. He says, uh, "I quit the stinkies uh, due to COVID after decades of two pack a day habit. One year ago, basically this week." Lead sled has been smoke free for one year. The thing that I have used, uh, the thing is, I have used nicotine as self medication along with caffeine for Ryanald's syndrome. It lowers the blood pressure drastically. So, to improve my health, I switched to vaping. And then this happened. I love it. It's just right for my OCD perfection tinkering self with the scary government bans, regulations, and taxes going on. I had to stock up for the future. Yes, that's what I tell myself. So here is Lead Sled's Corner Vape Shop stash. I don't know where we can keep track of anything he's talking about. If you can spot it, then, you know, I don't know. You don't win anything, but you definitely get a bunch of brownie points. <laughs> Steam Crave Hadron Pro with the Ragnar. Steam Cave Hadron Light with the Aromamizer Supreme V3. SXK Sup Box with the Mission Orbit 15. Tesla Sig 80 watts, 86 watt Steampunk tube. The THC Finer. Mini 80 watt, the Wismec RG3 single 18650, the Lost Vape Gruss 100 watt, the Segeli Snow Wolf 218, a 30 watt Church Warden E pipe, various tanks, the Inakin Zenith Pro, the Geek Vape Cerberus, the Smoke TFV 12, Prince Cobra Color Changer, the UL Valerian 2, and. The Hellvape Vertex, the Typhon GT3, the Mike Vapes Eclipse with Extension Kit. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. It's the My Vapes Eclipse RTA. With an extension kit, the Steam Pipes Kibo V1, the Oxfa Arbiter V2, and one Digiflavor Torch. He goes on to say, I have a wine fridge filled. Where, where's the wine fridge, damn it? I had, the, I had a picture of his wine fridge filled with e-liquid here it is there it is that's his wine fridge filled with e-liquid he says uh i have a fridge filled with almost three gallons three gallons of 100 milligram max vg nick base and finally got a couple of bags of goodies and pre-made coils uh, my daily favorite changes, but that Eclipse seems to stick around a heck of a lot on the Tesla. It looks cool. It vapes great. feels good in my hand. I just wish it had temp control. Thank you, Lead Sled. I very much appreciate you sending this in. Who has a wine, like a wine cooler that they use literally just for nicotine? I, that's cool. That's a cool idea. Smart. Smart. Stocking up. Here's the thing. Here's what I'm going to tell you, Josh Jordan. Josh Jordan says... I miss the good old building days. Why? They're still here. You can build whatever you want. <laughs> you can get wire and build an alien and install it in an RDA and vape. People, people, people mo like mourn vaping like it's the good old days. I just rebuilt an RDA today. I've never missed the good old vaping days or the good old building days because I'm still in them, I guess. <laughs> still building. You can build whatever you want, whenever you want. And best of all, old vape gear is cheaper now than it ever has been in, their, in, in its life. You can get old banger RDAs for pretty cheap, even new vape gear. The Eclipse RTA, it's got to be what, under 40 bucks? Yeah, I, that's what I would say as well, Earn. <laughs> Something very similar. And I get, I understand the sentiment of it, of the idea of, Big vape shows, uh, much more vapors on the internet, much more vapors on YouTube, more vape reviewers on YouTube. I get it, like the glory days, the golden age of vaping, but I don't really feel like those were the good old days. I feel like that was an era uh, of vaping that, that just existed, you know, and it was out of our hands. It was out of our hands, you know. This, I just rebuilt this today. This is the Mob 2. In fact, real quickly, 
Well, well let me finish Assignment America. We'll, we'll do Assignment America and then we'll do what I personally have been vaping. Let's see. Preston sent in a video, but Preston did not speak on this video. So we are going to break down what Preston's vaping. That looks like a Smock Tech Magneto with a tobe on top. Is that a tobe? I like looking at buildings too, sewer rug. Dude, Stu, okay, I'm sorry to get so off track, but Stu, bro, Roundwire, yes, still, still hits. Roundwire still rules. Getting even some of my old favorite RDAs, getting some 22 gauge round wire, making some three millimeter, like 22 gauge seven or eight wraps. That shit hits. It's good. It's good, Stu. It's good. Okay. So back to, uh, back to, uh, I forgot who this is. Wh whose video? Preston. That's right. Preston. Turk juice. Good choice. That's a pulse. That's a pebbly cheesecake. That's a, a copper QP something. That's a something single 18650 mod with a geek vape something on top. <laughs> I like this. I just, I like guessing. Geek vape something, something on top. Some meta liquid. That's definitely an Aegis. That's definitely an Aegis legend with a, what was the name of that RDA? Mad Dog something RDA. Hmm. Don't quite remember. But hey, Preston, appreciate you, pimp. Thank you for sharing your bangers with us. Uh had another one here from uh is there is Patrick Conquest in the chat? Is Patrick Conquest here? Because Patrick Conquest got a new pulse and wanted to share it with us. Hey, what's up, Nick? It's Patrick. He's quiet. This feels awkward because I have to turn off music when I send you a video, so it's just silent. <laughs> but I want to do a dude like an Asylum in America slash this is your favorite thing video. Uh, just got the pulse in the mail. Super loving it. Um, and I got some Psycho Crawler on the inside. I'm just running the coils in it right now. Uh, waiting to build that vessel probably in the next hour or two so i'll update you and yeah i just want to do a quick little video i love it patrick conquest i'm here for it although i didn't get an update as to how the vessel boro is going for you patrick i hope you built it hope you hope you love the crap out of it i thought i had one more video that's right daniel i got a video from daniel here and it's the same same idea there's no audio, so we're just going to speculate as to what's going on. In fact, I don't think I got an email from Daniel. This was just an un, uh, unexplained just video. <laughs> so we're going to look through it. Don't know. One of those is an Arbiter because it says Arbiter on it. <coughs> it has, says Arbiter on it. So I believe that to be the Arbiter next to that. C c could not tell you. Could not tell you. Dude, Josh, yes, do it. I recently, uh, okay, I'll say this year brought back the Velocity V2 for a hot minute, and it was uh, it was banging, dude. It was just as banging as I remember it. Just as banging. Okay, that's an Arbiter. This, I had no idea. It's a vape, Cold Steel's AK-47. It's like a bunch of coil heads in the clip, and then it's like a pot, like a, it looks like an AIO system. I've not ever seen one of these before. Made by Artery? Crazy. Hawk Vapes? Don't know, but that's a Valhalla, I believe, on top there. I don't know what that RTA up front is. This is like, this is, it's like Vape Stash CSI. Truck and Review says that's a Vapresso tank on the left. Okay, I believe that. I believe that that's that. Arbiter? This? Don't know what RTA that is in the front front could be the profile could be a profile rta right there in the front we got more geek vape we got uh there's a segeli that almost looks like a tripod next to it oh we got to turn the lights on good i don't know what that tank is 
and I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. Super American, isn't it, Douglas? The AK-47, yes, but also this. This. Asgard, sorry, Asgard, Mike Bird. Asgard. That wasn't a Valhalla? What am I even... Why? I shouldn't, I shouldn't be allowed to be on YouTube. Valhalla. Asgard. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. The Fat Rabbit? You say that's the fat rabbit, sir. Hey, look, that could be. I don't know anything about the fat rabbit. I know very little about the fat rabbit. The dual guy, don't even know, but it comes with dual RDAs and a dual drip tip. That is, uh, that's kind of banging. Uh, those, some steam craves, you know, the mods, the uh, aromamizers on top, RDTA plus, RDTA plus V2, Tesla dual RDTA. There's so many things wrong with that sentence. Dual RDTA. We got a fush. We got the that. So many things. That's a TM24 on the end. I can't point. You can't see where I'm pointing. <laughs> you can't see my mouse even. That's a TM24 on the end without a doubt. Couldn't tell you what mods those are. Uh, yeah, another Sigeli. That's a snow wolf. With the profile RDA, that's another Asgard. That's another R. That's the RPM mod, next to a Vupu, next to a Vicious Ant, with the recurve on top. That's a that's an RDTA back there. It looks like a Limitless to me. Yeah, there's uh, some smock things back there. There's some Vicious Ant things up front. Oh, we're getting a better view now. That's a Squid Industries double barrel, certainly right there. Uh, some more hot Snow Wolf action. That's a Smock Alien, I think. But wait, look at this. More. Oxvas everywhere. What's up, Chuck and Clouds? What's up? Vaping with Ken. Stoked to see my, my man vaping with Ken's face again. I missed you. I hope you're doing well. Yep. Uh, Aspire stuff. E-Leaf stuff, Geek Vape stuff, but wait, there's more. Pods, up and down, all around. I don't even recognize any of those pods. Maybe that's a jewel. I don't know. That's the UL watch. Yeah, I remember that. There's some cross twos there on the end. And boosh. Look at the side. Look at this. Look at this mod. That's sitting on a chair. There's a size comparison. That's definitely something from either Vapor's Cloud or I, I don't know what's on top there. That could be from uh, Vaporgate. Yosh at Vaporgate used to make huge RDAs like that. It's gigantic. And it's got, I don't even know what graphic is on the front. It's like someone vaping with Darth Vader behind them. And then is that a dinosaur? And then someone with Mickey ears? A soup. They're not, those are not vicious ants. Oh, rebuildable Ryan making me question everything I know about vaping. So, oh, that's not a vicious ant that I thought that Ultem bit right there, the clear Ultem. I thought that's the vicious ant logo. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. I am wrong. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Rebuildable Ryan. You're right. I'm incorrect. It's not a vicious ant. Neither of those are vicious ants. I really thought they were vicious ants. Ah. What are you going to do? They're not vicious ants. That is quite a collection. That is quite a sick collection. Thank you to everybody that sends in their Assignment Americas. You can send one in too. If you have any cool vape gear, even if it's not cool, even if it's just your daily bangers, send it over. I want to see it. I want to know what people are vaping. I like seeing, like I said, Combinations I may have never seen before. RDAs, RTAs I have never seen before. Rinco, that's that company. Correct. Rinco, that's the, that's the company that we were just looking at. The jelly box. Okay, Rebuildable Ryan got me too. All right, sick. Rinco, those look cool. Those look cool. Those look cool to me. Kind of want to vape those. Uh, real quickly, since of course we're running long, let me whip through a few things that I personally have been vaping. As I said, this is the Cubic 60. Uh, it's a just a 
Hemo DNA, you know, 3D printed banger. Uh, this front came from Mike D in Canada, I believe. And I love the shit out of it. I reviewed it. I, I just love the crap out of it. The, the Mob 2 in mouth to lung mode uh, with the one millimeter airflow is on the inside. Deep cuts 12 milligram guava. This is a perfect setup. Just try it drip tip. This is the perfect setup. It's mouth to lung all day long. And I love the crap out of it. Uh, for anybody who was here last week, we built the uh, Rage RTA. The one that could become an RDA, an RTA, and a sub tank, the Itsua Rage. I think we decided this was a, a good, crappy tank. It, it must be both because every time I vape it, I go, oh, that's kind of crappy. But I still keep vaping it. It gets remained on my desk and I keep refilling it. It's not, uh, it's not terrible. I'm going to keep this drip tip for sure. Whatever the Rage drip tip that it came with, I like it a lot. So I've been vaping that. Uh, I've been vaping this a lot. I put a little video on Instagram. It's just, damn it, it's one of my favorite setups right now. It's the Hexome RTA Rich Kids of Instagram. Just try it. Drip tip. Get out of here. Stellar. Stellar. Uh, I've also been using that uh, Ravine, the Snowcat Mods uh, Ravine Boro. Uh, what's on the inside? Don't quite remember. I know it's baby back off but I don't know the bridge on the inside. Something restricted lung. Literally cannot remember right now what's inside here. And I have the stainless steel door on so I can't like look <laughs> and see what's inside. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. Um, almost second to lastly, uh, SX Mini. Should, I'm gonna do a review for this soon, but it's gonna be a very surface level review with the My Vapes. Eclipse Dual RTA. Just hangs around, you know? Just hangs around. It's delicious. This is still going, but I have not vaped it. Last week, last week on the stream, we built the, uh, the Psych, or no, the uh, Cloud Mods, the Cloud RBA inside of the pulse 0.5 it has deep cuts apple in it and it's too christmasy like it's too halloween christmas time flavored for me and i feel weird vaping it in the heat wave of september in southern california so it's just been sitting here getting i mean barely used mostly because i'm just waiting like i'm gonna try to keep this going another month so i can just pick it up and vape it in october but it's so goddamn good so goddamn good. Um, I've also been vaping the ever loving crap out of this setup, and this is I j this is just my China setup. It's a Smock G Priv Four with the Horizon Tech Aquila on top. Slaps. Slaps. Tribal Buddha is actually correct. You're correct, Tribal Buddha. I was trying to figure it out. The Psych is in the ravine. <laughs> what would I do with What would I do without you, Tribal Buddha? Still good. Baby come back. Sifu mustaches tobacco. Psh, forget about it. This has Turk's watermelon in it. Maybe it's the summer. Maybe it's the heat. Maybe it's the watermelon. This is one thing that has just not been leaving my hand. I like the big touch bar like button on the on the Smock G Pro 4. I like the screen. I like being able to turn it on and off. I, I really like these Horizon Tech sub tanks. Coil heads, rather. I like it. I like it. And that's it. Like, that's what I've been vaping. If you want to get down to pods, look, I just did a pods ranked on YouTube. You're more than welcome to go check it out. It's the Weenax K1 SE. And uh, lately, it's been this, the new Cali Burn X, which I don't love. I've just been using it a lot, if that makes any sense. Now, let's go check in on some super chats. And then let's do like a retro vaping, maybe and we're back mallory gates in with the super chat very gracious of you i feel that tacos are more important than pumpkin spice there i said it fight me i'm not gonna fight you i am not gonna fight you mallory gates 
What about, let me just throw this out there, Mallory Gates. Pumpkin tacos? Any, any, any traction there? You think that would be a good thing? Pumpkin flavored taco shells? And then you just make normal tacos in it. And every time you bite the crunchiness, you just get a little whisper of like cinnamon pumpkin. Or we could have cinnamon pumpkin taco shells. Holy shit. Hang on. I'm having an idea. Cinnamon pumpkin taco shells. Put something in the middle like a banana. Put some chocolate sauce on it. Put some whipped cream on it. Just eat it like a banana taco, like a banana pumpkin taco. Mallory. I think you're, this is the cornerstone of a million dollars. This is a, this is a billion dollar idea. I agree with you, Mallory Gates. <laughs> Tyler B., damn it, that's very gracious of you, my man. I called into work today because I'm just too far behind when it comes to my stuff in life. Dude, I totally get that. Totally forgot about the vlog until I saw the notification. Hell yeah, it's like surprise Christmas. Hey, hey, Tyler B., love you. Appreciate you, Tyler B. I'm glad you took the day off work. Everybody should do that. Everybody should just pick a random day. Just go, nope, taking today off of work just to just to be me. <laughs> AJ, that's very gracious of you. What billet box style device and bridge do you recommend? Thanks for all you do. Oh, my Lord. Billet box styled device. The, uh, if you if you if you're cool with mechanicals, Snowcap makes some pretty rad little ravine Boro device. It's mechanical. Um, and so that means that there's no regulation, there's no chip or anything like that. But I truly do love, 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 love this Boro compatible device. The big one that I think everybody's going to say is the Pulse. You know, the, the Pulse is uh, billet box style, Boro compatible. It comes with a pretty good bridge. The Vessel bridge it, it is not bad at all. My favorite bridges are... Uh, let's see. I like the vape shell and the vape snail from Atmazoo quite a bit. I like the mob mini. I like the mob two from uh, Monarchy Poland. There's not a lot of, I mean, if, if anybody else in the chat wants to help out AJ, absolutely. But I'm trying to think off the top of my head, what's like a American easy to get, not crazy expensive bridge that slaps. I can't honestly like I keep going back to the truss, but I don't think the truss is, is that good really at all. Not the truss. I don't know. Let me think. Let me think on that, AJ. Appreciate you being here. Uh, Nick Wicks. Oh, yeah. Building is alive. Of course it is. All it takes for building is alive is to people just to build something. <laughs> like we've got tens of thousands of RDAs on the market. <laughs> Miles of wire thousands of miles of wire all it takes is just to build it it's true facts nick wicks that's why i like you barbara burgess shout out to the uk vape fam rest in peace queen elizabeth absolutely cheers uh to, to queen elizabeth and uh you know god bless the queen it's, it's it's like a different era now the queen of england has been awake or, or awake alive my, my entire life my entire life, the woman was 97 years old. She she did her job for 70 years. And I see people like talking shit about Queen Elizabeth on the internet. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, that's unnecessary. It's not like the queen has like armies at her disposal or something. You know, I think people are misinformed on what what the queen actually was capable of <laughs> what the, was the queen actually capable of <laughs> but yes shout out to the uk vape fam rest in peace god god save the queen well we got part-time vapor hey part-time vapor i got a retro vape from you tonight psa if you're going to poop naked that's right be sure to waffle stomp it down the drain part-time vapor you always have the good advice. You're always on it. <laughs> Only waffle stomp if you're pooping naked. I think that's the actual rules. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, well. Hey, that's very gracious of you. Sorry I'm late to the stream. Late? You're not late. You could arrive at 740, and, and I still wouldn't consider you late. 12 years vaping, the last three years been using Caliburns for the simplicity, but looking into getting into Boro devices since it's a pain to get consumables. Any recommendations? 
here we, I'll, I'll tell you what I told AJ. There are some Boro compatible devices out there. The Pulse is going to be the one, the one that everybody is, uh, you know, going to recommend, and rightfully so. It's good. It's Boro compatible. I'll, I'll recommend Snowcap. The Ravine is mechanical, and I really, really like it. Really a big fan of it. And as far as bridges go, like. I, I don't know, I can't think right now of any bridges off the top of my head that are like ready, readily available, easy to get, not super pricey, and still slap. The Kirch, the Kirch, that's what I'll say. The Kirch, the Kirch, the Psych, those are both solid. I, I said the Mob, the Mob Mini, the Mob 2, like it. That's the best I can do for you, yeah, well. Hopefully everybody in the chat can help you out, yeah, well. Uh, Hellraiser Gaming, that's very gracious of you. Hey, Grim, what's a good dual coil build on a mech mod, single 18652 tube mod, asking for the resistance for to build for? I, on a single 18650 mech, I would build probably close to like a 0.12, like a 0.15. You could probably even do like a 0.2 and be fine, be completely fine. But a 0.15 on a single 18650 tube mech, solid. 0.12, 0.15. I wouldn't go any lower than that for a single battery 18650 tube mech. That's that's what I would say, Hellraiser Gaming. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're gaming and just raising hell. Tribal Buddha, that's very gracious of you. Next week vlog, the 15th, is my 15-year vape anniversary. Holy crap, Batman. Holy crap, Batman, indeed. Wait, I'm going to have to make a note of this for next week. I'm going to have to skip ahead a few pages in my pad here. Tribal freaking Buddha, 15 years. That's that's bonkers. I mean, congratulations. How great do you feel? I mean, was there ever a time when you were smoking cigarettes where you envisioned like, oh, I'm going to be smoke-free for 15 years of my life? No, I never did. Never did. I thought I'm going to die with cigarettes in my hand. Gordo. Anyway, congratulations, Tribal Buddha. Appreciate you. Gordo Bombay, appreciate you. Do you happen to have an extra just try it drip tip? I do not. Uh, I don't have uh, spares. I have like three just try it drip tips, I think. Um, I, I'd like to do more. I'm going to talk to Dwayne and see if we have any spares uh, just try it drip tips we can put on the website because some people have been... Uh, requesting the just try it drip tip rightfully so like dude it rules gordo you know it rules the just try it drip tip is my favorite drip tip favorite drip tip same tribal buddha same never really wanted to quit never really wanted to quit didn't care love nicotine love smoking let's just do it let's just keep going you know Never thought I'd walk away from smokes. And then vaping comes along and you're like, oh, shit, <laughs> Man, this is easy. I can walk away from smokes literally right now. Let's uh, let's do some retro vapping. Let's do some retro vapping. Uh, let me grab it real quick. Let's go. I will literally never get sick of the reverse retro vaping theme song. Uh, here's what we're going to be retro vaping today. You know, some people are going to tell me that this might not really be a retro vape or that this is too new of a product. So this is going to be a combination of retro vaping slash reviews for things that never got reviews. I never tried the drop dead. Never tried it, never built it, never vaped it, never touched it, never nevered it, never nevered it. I think you can tell that this is a retro vaping product because it was a collaboration between the Vapor Chronicles, who doesn't exist anymore, and the Vaping Heathen, who also does not exist anymore. Both of those people, both of those vape influencer personalities are gone. So that definitely, definitely qualifies this for a uh, 
for a for some hot retro vaping action. I don't think I can show you any more of the packaging because there's a QR code and a web address on the side and on the back. So let's just get this open. Oh, look at that. Hey, that's kind of rad as hell. You know, I got I to gotta stick up my ass about hell vape, but that's pretty slick. White, red. I actually have a... Uh, I actually have a clutch that this would fit really well on in that color scheme. Let's see, there's a drip tip adapter, there's a drip tip, there's spare O-rings, there's screws, there is a squonk pin, there are some tools. All right, let's just build it. I'm not, a, I was never, here's where we're, here's where everyone's gonna get mad at me. Here's where everyone's gonna get mad at me. I never, uh, I never really liked the drop deck. I I, I just never really enjoyed the drop deck. I, I thought it was weird and they hang upside down sometimes and then you have to bend your leads way far over, like way, way far over. And man, the original drop RDA was some of the most severe drama that has ever happened on this YouTube channel. Some of the only drama that has ever happened on this YouTube channel. I reviewed the drop, I reviewed the drop RDA and I was like, it's pretty good. I don't like it very much. And I don't like these two things about it. And man, you, you, you would have thought that I, I called the vapor chronicles family like racial slurs or something like the hate that I got for not really enjoying the original drop RDA was unbelievable. Un never seen anything like it. Never seen anything like it. I was like, I didn't say it was bad. I didn't say I hated it. I didn't say anything bad about Brian. I said, I like Brian. We're buds. I like the vapor chronicles. Woo. Careful now. Careful what you say on the internet. All sorts of people get mad at you. Okay. Okay. There's the deck. Yeah, there's that drop deck. It's just, I don't like it. <laughs> it's just, it's just a matter of me not liking it. And I don't like it for so many reasons, but I... I don't like it because your, your coils are really high, really far away from your deck, really far away from your deck. I, I don't think this would be a good squonker. If anybody uses this as a squonker, please let me know and tell me how you use this as a squonker. Because it doesn't make any sense to me how you could have of such a firm AFC, holy shit, such a firm AFC. It doesn't make sense to me that you would have your coils like hovering up here somewhere and then these like two mile long wicks down to your, you know, down to your juice well. And if you're squonking into your juice well, it's like you would squonk and then you'd watch an episode of Seinfeld and then you'd go, oh, now it should be wicked up, you know? <laughs> Now, now it should be going. Listen, I always grab some Twisted Timmy's coils because they're right here, you know? I want to kind of put, I want to put something dope in here. 0.11s, I think that could be sick. We're going to go with these. These are some Twisted Timmy's. Shout out to uh, Mr. Twisted Timmy himself. Lucky 7s, Aliens, triple 27 gauge core, uh, wrapped with 37 gauge core, 37 gauge, Two and a half millimeter, five wrap, 0.11, should be fine. You love these posts, Ray? Ray loves the drop dead posts. I don't, look, I don't, it's a good squonker. It's a good squonker. GTT says it's a good squonker. Mine is set for life on top of the 21700 top side. See, interesting. I think this is all very interesting. Maybe my mind will be changed, you know? Maybe, maybe everything... Maybe everything I know is wrong. Stranger things have happened. Now, because this is the drop deck, I'm just going to haphazardly clip my leads because the way that this deck is, it's, it's pretty forgiving, forgiving. It's pretty forgiving for, for coils. 
The Dead Rabbit V3 RDA is a banger. Never got to try it. Never got to try it. Hellvape and I, uh, we broke up a little bit, you know? We kind of broke up a little bit. And that's a shame, because uh, for a while there, I thought, I was like, Hellvape is the only good Chinese company. Like, they are the best Chinese company, hands down. I love their shit. I love what they're doing. Fuck yeah, I want to work with them. Oh, wait. That was a terrible idea. Terrible idea. <laughs> exactly, Douglas. Exactly, Douglas Roach. I couldn't believe it. Like, there were memes about it. There were memes about it. You want to talk about the golden age of vaping? <laughs> there were memes about it. Circulated amongst the Grim Army Facebook group back in the day. Cut those two short, didn't I? I thought I could just eyeball them, and I think I cut them too short. I just wasted some Twisted Timmy's coils. Ah, now let's see. Let's see what can be done. I won't cut the other, cut the other one so haphazardly. I think if I hold it in position. Beautiful, Clark. That is a one at best install. If you want to rate this, you can only rate it as a one. I wouldn't let you rate it any higher. Yeah, I think we can, Scott. Maybe not the viewer count. and I mean, maybe we can try to up the viewer count, but I, I feel like we could up the thumbs ups. I mean, how many likes on this video? That directly helps me. In fact, it helps me the same way if you like it or dislike it. Interesting, right? Yep. Okay, that's it. That's where that coil's gonna live. Perpetuity, forever. I'm gonna trim this coil substantially shorter. Of course, I'm not gonna measure it the second time. Why would I do that? You just eyeball it. You just eyeball it. Too low, GTT? Well, that's where we're at where we're at I'm not it's it's a sunk cost fallacy at this point I've already wasted a twisted Timmy's coil and I, and I have no desire to waste more twisted Timmy's coils so I'm gonna do what I did over there I'm gonna hold it up I'm gonna position it up a little bit I'm gonna try to match the distance of the other coil you need to raise the coils about six millimeters off of the post. Six millimeters off of the post? Jangle says way too low. This see, here's 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 where here's where I'm running into problem with taking people's advice. Georgia boy, hey, I appreciate you, bro. You need to raise the coils about six millimeters off the post. Oh, all right. And then Tribal Buddha says, too high, bro. <laughs> you slaughtered this build. Too high. And then right next to it, right underneath it, Jangles goes way too low. We're either way too high or we're way too low, way too high, way too low. So in light of that, <laughs> in light of that, all right, here's the thing. I really don't want to waste this Twisted Timmy's coil. Is that really too low? Like, it, is that going to negatively affect my vape? I feel like it's not because the air flows right there it is below the airflow shit it is below the airflow but the airflow is angled down right yeah the airflow is angled down a little bit so uh, it's low it's low it, it's low in that it's just barely like at the same level as that bottom play that's what i'll do ray that's what i'll do i'll just put one really low and one really high one really low and one really high i can't raise this one up uh, i could raise it up a little bit let's go for it let's go for it i'm gonna try to raise both of these up six millimeters i feel like taller might be better to get it in front of the airflow. you know you know Raise it, raise it. 
See, now I'm even double guessing myself. Mike Burr says it's perfect. No, no, it's perfect. Don't fuck with it. Okay, that build looks great. So now you tell me which one's too high and which one's too low. So if I do this, is, is one too high and one's too low? The airflow, yep, that high one is too high and the low one is too low. The high one is too high and the low one is too low. All right, let's try to do. If, is there a simpler way to do this that I'm just not realizing? Because I feel like it doesn't matter how you cut your leads because all they'll do is hang down here. So if someone says, oh, just cut your leads to five millimeters, that doesn't mean anything to me. If I cut my leads to five millimeters, they'll just sit down in there. You have to actually like hold your coil up while you screw them down to get it to the right height. I can't see a way of cutting these leads consistently. It's always going to be this like eyeball how high your coils are game. Unless I'm wrong. Unless I'm wrong. Okay, I'm gonna try to lower this one down a little bit. Right? Now, give me that. So that is basically the <laughs> basically the same as the other one. Basically the same as the other one. Yeah, let's good good idea, Frank. Let's try to get in here and cut these. There's no I'm convinced there's no way to do this consistently. How do you consistently clip your leads for the drop dead? Or for the drop in that matter? Like don't cut place them Place them with four millimeters to the screw, then lower both to the center till they almost touch. The air, f the air will flow down to them. All right. I'm not taking any of that advice, Tribal Buddha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I actually think this is pretty good. I'm not. I'm not dissatisfied with that. Sorry. I actually think that's okay. I'm not unsatisfied with that. They're a little low, but but it does throw the airflow a little bit down. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. The frustration is palpable. Can you feel it? Can you feel it, Rifleman? Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying about the drop. There's no way to do this consistently every time you're freestyling your leads because if you don't cut them at all and just put them in there they're going to touch the bottom right i mean these definitely would have touched the bottom if i didn't cut the leads first so you have to cut the leads first and then throw your coils in there but now your leads are just hanging off the bottom so your coil is always going to sit flat right on the top unless you hold it in mid air and screw the screws down while it's being held in mid air at the correct point. This one was too high and I lowered it what felt like a half of a millimeter and it was already slammed against the deck. There's no way to do this consistently. No way to do this consistently. Uh, they'll get, I'll, I'll try to straighten them as best. <laughs> I'll try to straighten them as best I can. And I'm not trying to trigger nobody. I'm not trying to trigger. I mean, honestly, to my eyes, they look pretty straight. They're pushed in a little bit to the sides, to the middle. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're going with. That's it. All that. Look at this innovative deck. So innovative. Wow, drop deck. I'm personally going to nominate the Drop RDA deck as the worst deck that's ever existed in vaping. I think it's worse than the Aga T3, and that says a lot. Uh, these are reading a point one right now, as expected. 
Let's turn this wattage up a little bit, get them glowing, finally get some wicks in here. I'm sorry, J Money Land Shark. I'm not, that's not my, uh, that's not my intention. I think that looks pretty good. They're not centered, but I think that's, is my head crooked? <laughs> is my head crooked? Let's see. Let's get these glowing real quick. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm, I like having the discussion. I like talking about it. I like getting people's tips and I like trying stuff. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work for me. And that's fine. I have all of my own opinions about vape stuff. And if I have a choice between the drop deck and anything else, I will choose anything else. No questions asked. Maybe we can turn the wattage a little bit higher than 30. Maybe. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nope. Something's not right. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hot spot right here. Looks good. In fact, They're actually glowing crazy evenly. For some reason, I thought the one, I thought the one with the leads still like poking out the bottom would have fired differently. T fired differently. Dude, every I love it when I build, Mike. You don't like it? You think it frustrates people too much? I'm having a good time. I don't, I don't I feel zero frustration right now. That's not what if if vaping's making you frustrated. Stop vaping. Or stop vaping whatever it is that's making you frustrated. That's what I used to do. Like, oh, this sucks. I don't care. I'm going to stop using it literally right now. <laughs> that's kind of what happened with the drop RDA. The TV Keys bank account. So, yeah. <laughs> It's not so much uh, the Vapor Chronicles. Like I, I think the Vapor Chronicles did pretty well for himself in the vape space, but it was uh, it was really Heathen who, who who came in real quick into the vape scene, made a name for himself within the span of about a year, released the uh, the Dead Rabbit RDA, made you know <laughs> over a million dollars, and then just quit. He's like, peace out. I'm going to renovate my house. Thanks for the million dollars. Appreciate it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? Whoa. That's what happens when I get carried away with scissors. Do you see that? It yanked the wick right across. Oh. Did it a fucking did it again. These are snug. I think these uh, black vape shears are reaching the end of their uh, shearing life. Let's get the red guys out. Super easy to wick, right? Super easy to wick. Press, press, just goes right in. Boom. Press, 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 boom. So easy, so done. And then what we can do, let's see. Hmm. I don't know what liquid I want to put in here. What do I have set aside? Oh, that's, why are you over here? This is lava flow. Oh, in fact, here, hang on. I have a retro liquid. Let's do a retro liquid. Uh, leaving some extra wicking on the bottom sucks up more liquid so you don't have to bleh as often. Yeah, I agree. These wicks are touching the deck. They're touching the juice well down there. It's going to be great. It's going to wick, uh, I, I believe, pretty quickly. Look, this might be a good squonker. This might be a good squonker. Oh, the wasp nano. Dean of the dead. No, I can't talk about the a wasp nano. 
people just get mad at me when I talk about the Wasp Nano. I have Retro Liquid. Retro Liquid as well. This is the liquid we're putting in it. Any guesses? It's in a glass dripper bottle. What's that, a green stripe at the top? American made. I've been saving this liquid. I've been saving this liquid for probably seven years. About, I, I, I accept that, J Money Land Shark. I, I, I accept that. That's a perfectly reasonable rating. <laughs> this I got I've been saving this bottle for I think it's been over eight years actually that I've been saving this but there was a company Baker White and Baker White for a while was selling like commercial e-liquids and stores and on YouTube and things like that um and then they switched almost exclusively to like white labeling stuff. So the Baker White brand kind of disappeared, but Baker White was a manufacturer that was making liquids for other companies. And they made liquids for pods. They made liquids for like disposables, like the disposables we had at that time back in the day, which were, you know, really few and far between. But they made liquids for those. And anyway, they made me a 50-50 PGVG, Three milligram, Grim Green, light tobacco. This is... <laughs> Mowgli vapes. <laughs> I love that. I love the shit out. That's funny. That's, that's joke of the night, Mowgli vapes. Save it for something built right. Why don't you save it for something you didn't build like a jag off? <laughs> this was my favorite tobacco. I got two big 120s of it and I vaped one of them instantly. It was just gone. I vaped the hell out of it and I thought, "Well, I can't I can't ever get any more of this from Baker White, so I need to save this bottle." 8 years I've been saving this bottle. We're digging into it tonight. I'm hoping the nicotine's still good, high quality. I'm going to give it a little bit of a knuckle test. Oh shit, are there URLs there? I'm going to give it a little bit of a knuckle test. The color has remained unchanged. It's looked like this almost since the day I got it. It might be a little bit darker. Oh, yeah. I mean, holy crap. This is this is my favorite tobacco e-liquid. Let's see what happens when you bleh. Can we bleh all over this? I guess with glass dripper bottles, you don't so much bleh as you drip. The 50-50 PGVG content of this is just going to make it soak into the cotton a thousand times quicker. Let's see what we got. Okay, all right. Looking good. I can smell this tobacco. It smells amazing. Yeah, vapors. Boosh. So uh, I'm assuming there's sort of a, a notch tab system for this. So I'm going to lubricate the inside of the cap with my wicks. It's an old trick. <laughs> yep, that's going to drop into the notches. You can kind of adjust your airflow direction. The holes move. So you can position it right in front, off to the side. I actually really like that. I think that's much more versatile than having it lock right into the right into the same position every single time. Gonna put some liquid, gonna put some on the edge here because this O-ring was something fierce. I think that's a full open. Let's get that liquid out of there. All right. Party. Hey, look, we did it. And we didn't even fight that much, you guys. <laughs> we didn't even fight that much. I know, 50 PG. It's going to be throaty. It's going to be throaty. I know it's going to be throaty. It's not ever not going to be throaty. And what I mean by that is it's always going to be throaty. So let's see. We did end up right at a 0.11. So let's turn this to at least 80 watts. 
right? Okay. This is the def mods. Uh, just custom Grim Army Lipo DNA 250C. Just super satanic imagery all over it. I love the hell out of it. Just sounds like a metal record, you know, when you look at it. Blood Spatter White Drop Dead on top. Not bad. Shout out to Part Time Vapor for sending this my way to try. And look, if it's got good flavor, if I like it, maybe I'll reposition those coils a little bit better. Okay, here's the thing. That's a ton of airflow. Super smooth, crazy smooth airflow. It's just a lot of it, you know? It's just an excessive amount of airflow. It is difficult to see how you exactly adjust your airflow. I think I'm turning down like four of the holes. Now let's open that up a little bit. Okay. Restrict it down just a little bit. Plentiful, pl plentiful airflow. Restrict it down a little bit. I think it's going to be better. This liquid tastes beautiful, glorious, exactly as I remember it. It's a nice, light, sweet tobacco. It's a little bit, uh, I, don't, I can't even explain it. I want to say musty, but not like in a bad way, like musty in a good way. Yo, yo, Lethal Coils. Happy to see you, bro. And here's the other thing, Tribal Buddha. I'm looking at you. <laughs> it's, not, it's not throaty. It's not throaty. I thought it would be throatier, but it's just not throaty. Good flavor. Good airflow. If the drop dead didn't have the drop dead deck, I think I would like it a lot more. Lot, lot more. That deck, I'm sorry. It just seems crazy counterintuitive to me. And I don't like the idea that it's not like a repeatable thing. You're going to have to measure the height of your leads. I think literally every time you install them. And that, I don't like that. I don't like that. I do like this airflow a lot. I do like the flavor a lot. This is nice and dense, saturated, pungent flavor I'm getting out of this. Put it on the clutch. Why? So it can be like the most absolutely perfect setup of all time. Okay, we can do that. We got a red clutch. We got a uh, we got some opium resin art, custom blood spatter panels. Put it on the clutch. <laughs> I don't know why that's how I hear your voice, Megs. It doesn't make any sense, but it's endearing at the least. All right, there we go. There it is. That's the full banger setup. The white doesn't quite match. Oh, it just doesn't quite match. This is the Dexter. The blood spatter, drop dead with some tobacco, red clutch, custom opium resin art button, custom opium resin art doors. Cheers. Hits great. 0.11, single 21700. Holy crap, this hits good. Dude, okay. For now, I like the drop dead. I like vaping it. I just don't like building it. And that counts for something, right? Good flavor, good airflow, solid construction. It's just the deck. It's just the deck that I don't like. No, I picture when Megs says something like that, like, put it on the clutch. To me, I immediately think of the movie Forgetting Sarah Marshall. If you haven't seen this film, uh, I mean, it's, it's cinema is really is what it is. If you haven't seen this piece of film cinema, you have to watch Forgetting Sarah Marshall. 
But when Aston Kutcher's character is in that bar and he's going to play piano and he's like, I don't know if I should play a song from my musical because out of context, it's going to be really. And then Mila Kunis, she's in the audience and she just shouts, play the Dracula song. That's what I hear. That's what I hear from Megs. Put it on the clutch, like yelling from the back of the room. And everyone kind of agrees and goes, yeah, I mean, you can put it on the clutch. That's what I hear. I think of that almost literally every time. Almost literally every time. If I, when I meet Megs in real life, I, you know, if she doesn't yell at me, I might be disappointed. Sick, drop dead, sick. Okay, I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we went through this exercise. Here's where I'll leave the, the drop dead. If this is a review for an, a thing that never got reviews, the level of banana stickers I would give it are not going to be a lot. I'm going to say that the airflow is banging. I mean, clearly banging. It's easy to wick. It's easy to bleh. I'm told it works good as a squonker. I just don't like the deck. Can't, can't do the deck. Running the risk of repeating myself, can't do the deck. I like it now that it's on the clutch and I'm vaping it and the flavor's good. Just don't like the deck. This is great. This is great. Look at this big 120 glass dripper bottle too. That's kind of a baller move. I drip 120s. Blow some O's. <laughs> Play the Dracula song! Oh, this is good. All right, maybe by the end of this vlog, I'm just going to be in love with the drop dead. You never know. At the very least, it looks good. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that was the Dexter theme song, but you might confuse it for the Moon Knight theme song. That's the Dexter. It's the Dexter, and I love it. This beer would probably even go great with this. Yes, it definitely does. Um, all right, you guys, we are, uh, holy crap. Holy crap, we're running long. Uh, the first thing I want to do right now, I'm going to go check in on those super chats, you guys. Play the Dracula song. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Where did I leave off? Gordo, that's right, Sally, uh, it's my birthday yesterday, skip around the room, oh, Sally, S. Yes. we are singing happy birthday, literally, right after these super chats, 100% Sally, S. Yes. part time, I sent the drop dead to match the red splatter mod that you got in a vape mail a while ago, but I knew you would not like it, <laughs> so part time vapor sent this specifically for the Dexter setup, knowing full well that I wouldn't super love the drop dead. That's okay. You know what? Aesthetics goes a really long way with me. In the past, I have kept cool looking setups as a setup and just not vaped it because it looked cool. Like, I don't really care for that RDA, but it looks banging on top of this mod and the colors match. And I'm just going to leave this as a matchy matchy setup. You, it, you did it to me again, part time. Shucks. Yeah, you did it. Plus, single battery clutch. It's been a minute. It's been a minute for the single battery clutch, and I forgot how freaking ergonomic this is. I like it part-time. Appreciate you. Gunny, that's very gracious of you. Me and Jared Diggs at work are stuck, so what the hell? Here's five bucks. Stuck? Gunny, you're stuck? I hope... All I can say is I hope you get unstuck as soon as humanly possible. Unless you continue to be stuck and you want to toss me another five spot. Like, that's cool. <laughs> that's totally cool, too. All my best, Gunny. Uh, Nick Wicks. Uh, finally got baked pistachio. Bloody can't wait to try it. Nick Wicks, if you try it during the stream, let me know how you like it. I personally just live and die for the pistachio baked. It's killing me. It's killing me. It's so good. Kevin, this is... Oh, shit. I was trying to do something really fancy, like throw it to myself. BP Mods. It's called uh, Pro Vape Cotton. I'm going to make sure there's no uh, web addresses on here. Pro Vape Cotton. It just comes in a 
one big long ass string uh, and you just cut it however you need it. Uh, that comes in two and a half millimeter length or two and a half millimeter diameter and three millimeter diameter. So it slides right in. It's a really good resistance. You know, when you're pulling it through the coils, I become a big fan of it. Big fan. Hope that answers your question. I'm pretty sure it does. Hellraiser, Tug Life Leprechaun Milk. Tug Life Leprechaun Milk, six milligrams, sadly is not around. Yeah, Leprechaun Milk, sadly, is definitely not around anymore. But, yeah, I can't think of I had. I, I was going to say, like, but you could try. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know what you could try. Uh, Delia's hair. Super chat from Delia's hair. Even though it's ridiculously hot and a monarch passed, it's still been a great day. Much love to y'all. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. In spite of all those things, it's still been a great day. I hope you've been having a good birthday, Delia's hair. Uh, followed by Rhett's beard. Hey, Alexa, play death metal. <laughs> you, you rascal, you're just a catalyst. Hashtag Laska. That's right. Rhett's beard from our uh, Alaskan delegation. Uh, and then another thing about D uh, Delia's hair. And my favorite aunt, my favorite aunt to be days, Tia America. My and and add my favorite aunt to birthdays. Oh, OK, OK, OK. I was uh, super confused because I was reading that wrong. So we'll do Delia's aunt. Aunt. <laughs> Tia. All right, Delia's aunt Tia. I'm told it's your birthday and some random stranger on the Internet's going to sing to you. So. I hope we all uh, are going to sing along. Let me grab my baton here. I'll grab the uh, pen here. Everybody ready? Please sing along with me. My whole ass Alexia just tore into Lamb of God. Don't thank me, Josh. Don't thank me. Thank Rhett's beard. Thank Alaska. You know, thank Alaska. <laughs> Okay, ready? Mm. Hair metal, hair metal, sick boy. What is wrong with your robot that when you say play metal, it plays hair metal? Like, look, nothing against hair metal. I, I, I had a crush on CC Deville from Poison as well before I knew it was a boy. You know, I bought Look What the Cat Dragged In and thought, wow, these are some pretty girls. Oh, you're you're boys. Okay, cool. I still like glam metal. I don't care if you wear a leather cod piece and have your hair teased out to here. I'm here for it. But come on, you can't look at the cover of Look What the Cat Dragged In. Let's sing happy birthday before things get weird. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Frames Janklin. That's right, Frames Janklin. Delia's hair, Delia's Aunt Tia, Paul D, the real Jim Shady, Ben Porter's apprentice Claire, Stu Rep, and Sally S. Tia America, happy birthday to you. Yeah, skip around the room, skip around the room, skip around the room, skip around the room. Skip around the room, you guys. Happy freaking birthday. Happy freaking birthday. I like birthdays, man. They're just cool. It's fun. It's like a special day, like special fun, cool day you get. I'll sing you happy birthday every single time. So happy birthday, you guys. So, so many happy birthdays to you. Before we get into news, which I know we're really super late right now, but before we get into news, I do want to try a giveaway, okay? If you're not skipping around the room, like, like finish up your skip around the room, come sit back down, because I would like to try to try to do a giveaway, okay? Tia America. <laughs> I do want to try to do a giveaway. This is just a test. 
This is a test run, uh, test run of my possible giveaway system. I don't even know how to announce this. How do I do this evenly? How do I do this fairly? So I have something I want to give away. We, we received this not too long ago. Uh, UL just recently celebrated uh, seven years of being a, a company. Seven years. And so they had a couple special Caliburn kind of things that came out. This is the Caliburn GK2. It's got one of these, uh, you know, sort of crests, I guess, on it that are meant to look like, uh, you know, football teams, but they're not exactly football teams. Just as a test, we're going to give this away. We're, we're going to give this away literally right now. This is only a test, so I don't want any hurt feelings or anything like that. You know, it's so the way that this giveaway is going to go live right now on this live stream is thusly. I don't know how to do this because it's going to happen really quickly. As soon as I announce it, there's probably no point in entering. That's what I'll just say. As soon as I announce it, there's probably no point in entering because someone probably already just won. Okay? <laughs> That's how quickly this is going to go. But everybody, just here's a little heads up. Get ready to send an email. Prepare yourself that you're going to send an email like literally within the next few seconds. Okay? Get ready to send an email because I am going to take the, the 10th email, the 10th email to email contest at grimgreen.com with the subject, give me that Cali burn will win this. The 10th person to email contest at grimgreen.com with the subject, give me that Cali burn, will be receiving this Cali burn. The first, the 10th person, the 10th person to email contest at grimgreen.com with the subject, give me that Cali burn. You got it. In fact, at this point, you already lost. You already lost. We'll see. We'll see the t no okay the tenth person to email contest at grimgreen.com with the subject give me that Cali burn you're gonna win this Cali burn you're gonna win it you're gonna win it send an email right now send it over the tenth the tenth person to email contest at grimgreen.com. Give me that Cali burn. You will win. Uh, let's do some uh, refreshing. The 10th person to email contest at grimgreen.com with the subject, give me that Cali burn. Don't give up. Obviously, if I haven't announced a winner yet, that means there's still a chance to win. Okay, there's probably not a chance to win literally anymore. But here we go. One, two, that's the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, yeah, here's the winner. Oops. <laughs> He, oh, here, wait, hang on. Here's the winner. Uh, Julian. Julian? Is there a Julian? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want, I'm going to make this official. You fuckers. Uh, I'm going to scribble out your email, sir. Done. We got a winner. It's Julian. Now, Julian, I'm going to respond to this email 
and I'm going to say, give me that address. Julian one. That went so swimmingly smooth. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Julian, give me that Cali burn. LOL. Congratulations, Julian. You just won a mother truck and Cali burn. I'm going to write your name on this. And hope you respond to that email with your address. Well, that was a little bit exciting. I'm, I, that was a good, that was a test. That was a total test. And I think it could be a, a, a working system. Yes, yes, of course, of course, of course. We'll age verify everybody who wins. Of course, that goes without saying. That goes without saying. But congrats to Julian. Congrats, Julian. You did it. All you had to do was send an email. You just want a Cali burn. Kick ass. This really opens up the uh, this really opens up the uh, the giveaway <laughs> ability of this stream. Here, I'm gonna reply also. Also a pic of your photo ID. Sick. That went great. Uh, that went great. I mean, that went truly great. Uh, let's do some news. Sorry, was that really loud? I'm sorry that that was so loud. I'm gonna try to whip through, th through some news and advocacy for you today. There's really two things I wanna mention, that's it. I just did a TBN on Tuesday. If you wanna go back and watch it, we talked about nicotine. Nicotine, the whole stream, nicotine. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it indifferent? Is it neither good nor bad? Is it both? Is it addictive? Is it habit forming? Is it dependent forming? What's the difference between habit forming and dependent forming? We did it. We talked all about it and uh, it was a really good stream. And I would encourage you to go back and uh, maybe give it a look-see. Maybe give it a look-see. Uh, I did want to mention, the first thing I wanted to mention is a petition in Straya. Is that you, Raw Editor's Official? Kick ass, kick ass. kick ass. And the next and next you're going to reply to everyone that didn't win and say sorry for trying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't I don't think I'm going to do that lost world, but uh thank you everybody for trying to enter and trying to win. There you go. Sorry, was that bumper way too loud Douglas Roach? There is a petition in Australia right now. And the problem that's happening in Australia right now with vaping is that they don't really have an industry organization in the country, uh, you know, we have uh, the American Vaping Association. We have the American Vapor Manufacturers Association. We have the Vapor Technology Association, the VTA. In Australia, they don't have that. They don't have those things. And so the problem that they're running to in Australia is disposables. Disposables are running rampant in Australia because of Australia's really terrible vape legislation. They have the prescription model there, which is off, awful, awful. The, the, the level of hoops that you have to jump through to get a nicotine prescription in Australia is ridiculous. You'd be better, you just go buy a cigarettes. <laughs> like, that's basically what they're saying. We're going to make this so fucking difficult and hoops that you have to jump through that you might be better off just buying cigarettes. Well, there is, there is a petition, a change.org petition that is being, you know, put out there by vape shop owners, if that makes sense. Let's just read this real quick. I represent Chinese disposable vapes, the scourge of the Australian vape industry. Disposable vapes only exist because everybody regulated vaping like shit. United States regulated vaping like shit. Australia regulated vaping like shit. And that's why disposables exist. If FDA and Australia had got their shit together and regulated vaping properly, I don't think we would see a fraction of the amount of disposables that we do in both of these countries right now. And this is from 
a, a shop owner in Australia. I represent a business that's been running a legal e-cigarette business in the local area for some now for some years now, and we are at our wits' end. Uh, it says the lack of policing of illegal disposable vapes being sold in Sydney, which is having a huge effect on our business as well as untold consequences of health and safety in our community, particularly minors. We've been making complaints to New South Wales Health for years and are now at a point where the lack of policing is beyond reproach because the types of businesses these illegal products are available in. So this is essentially a vape shop owner saying, hey, we're a responsible vape shop we only sell to adults. We card everybody that comes in. We sell legal products. We're doing this on the up and up. But due to your lack of regulations, now every store around us, every convenience store, every bodega, every candy shop has illegal Chinese disposables in it. So please do something about this. Essentially asking Please get rid of the illegal products so those of us who run legal vape shops can continue to sell to adults legally with carding. I I, I'm kind of fascinated by this. I'm kind of fascinated by this. So I'm just going to throw this out there. If you're in Straya and you want to support this change.org petition, boosh. I'm going to put the link in the description. I'm going to put the link in the chat. We're good to go. Good to go. The uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, uh, probably more important than the previous thing I mentioned, is uh, Jeremy V in the chat. Uh, hell of a dude. Hell of a dude. Just a hell of a dude. Helps me out, uh, I think, more than he may even realize. And he is involved in this charity that I love. We've talked about this charity before. We talked about it on Tuesday. I've mentioned it in streams in the past. But he is a part of this charity, Abounding in Love. And what this charity does is they give Philippine kids free cleft palate surgery. Obviously, it's not free. Obviously, someone's footing the bill, and that's where this comes in. You can sponsor kids. You can donate money to help get Philippine kids cleft palate surgery. And I just think that's one of the coolest things ever. And, uh, you know... The level of uh, like just admiration and respect I have for Jeremy V for being a part of this. Just the idea that like, what are you going to do in your life? Oh, I don't know. Play video games, look at porn, smoke weed. What are you going to do, Jeremy V? Oh, I'm going to uh, work with a charity that gives Filipino kids uh, free cleft palate surgery. <laughs> All right. Shit. That's, that's awesome. I, I love it. I, I love the crap out of it. So... I'm just going to put this out there. I'm going to put a link in the description. I'm going to put a link in the in the chat literally right now. Look, if, if you want to help out some, some Filipino kids with cleft palates, you get them free cleft palate surgery. Uh, just changes their life, you know, changes their life. Completely changes their life. Um, let's see. One other thing I wanted to put out there that I did mention on Twitter. Tuesday, and I want to mention it right now. This is great. This was recently updated on July 19th, 2022, but this is the American Council on Science and Health. This is their list of lousy vaping studies, a master list of junk science. Yep. All of the crap science that's come out between, I think the last time they updated this was in 2021. Maybe it was even in 2020. All of the junk garbage science that's come out in the last few years, it's here. It's not just here, it's recorded here, and it's like debunked here as well. The media reports the results of sloppy vaping research, then quickly forgets them. We do not. What follows is a list of many of the low-quality studies that have, in, that have uh, investigated the alleged health risks of e-cigarette use. We'll regularly update this catalog of bad studies as necessary. This is great. This is spectacular. This is one of those things that like I want everybody to uh, I want everybody to read it. I want everybody to share it. I want everybody to absorb this. This is one of those things when you're sure in a uh, heated discussion, maybe just some sort of discussion on social media, Twitter, Facebook and the such as this is just good information to have just at the at your fingertips. I mean, look, you could talk about uh, vaping and stroke risk. 
Yeah. When, when the American Heart Association put out a bunch of really terrible science, really terrible science, it's all in here. Uh, it's great. And uh, yeah, that's all. I can't recommend it enough. We're not going to sit here and read all of this, but uh, it's thebomb.com. So please, please check it out. Really, really would encourage you to check that out. Um, what I want to do right now, just because I'm going to go grab my water bottle and uh, something to hydrate with, we're just going to watch a quick video. It's, it's, it's maybe two minutes long, maybe two minutes long. And it's uh, Steve Forbes, the only billionaire, I think, that I, that I can think of off the top of my head that is actually a pro-vaping billionaire. We have anti-vaping billionaire Mike Bloomberg, who graciously gave away $160 million to, quote, end flavored vaping. Spent $160 million. Well, Steve, jo Steve Forbes, he's pretty pro-vaping. I don't necessarily agree with Steve Forbes on like everything he talks about, but Steve Forbes, when he starts talking about vaping, he's just spot on. He's just nail on the head, just nail on the head. So let's listen to Steve Forbes for like two minutes. This video is sped up a little bit and reversed so that YouTube doesn't, you know, get mad at me. I don't think Forbes would get mad at me. I will link in the description and in the chat to the original Steve Forbes. In fact, Michael Redfern, I don't know if anybody has that link uh, to the original YouTube video, throw it in the chat. This is something we need to watch, we need to absorb, and we need to share. Really need to share this. Take it away, Steve. The deadly nonstop anti-vaping war being waged by the FDA is based more on emotion than science. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. To hear most public health officials led by the FDA tell it, you'd think vaping was as deadly as smoking cigarettes. They've certainly misled the public with this lethal falsehood. 64% of Americans think using e-cigarettes is as bad or even worse than smoking tobacco cigarettes. The reality is the opposite. The only thing e-cigarettes have in common with regular cigarettes is inhaling nicotine. That substance is addictive, but not lethal. What makes tobacco cigarettes so deadly are all the other substances, most especially tar and carbon monoxide. E-cigarettes have no tar. Most users of e-cigarettes get the same kick as inhaling tobacco without such life-threatening dangers. Vaping is the most effective tool for giving up tobacco smoking, almost twice as effective as FDA-approved products such as nicotine patches, gum, and lozenges. It's why British health authorities see vaping as a critical tool in getting people to cease tobacco smoking. Other countries have come to the same conclusion. The National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine say, quote, substituting e-cigarettes for combustible tobacco cigarettes reduces users' exposure to numerous toxicants and carcinogens present in combustible tobacco cigarettes. Yet, despite the evidence that vaping is 95% safer than smoking, the FDA and others continue to wage war against e-cigarettes, thereby endangering the health, if not the lives of millions of smokers who want to give up the habit. Their justification is the huge increase in vaping among teenagers. They say it's a gateway to regular cigarettes. What's their evidence? None. In fact, surveys by the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, undermined their scare tactics. Between 2011 and 2020, vaping among high schoolers went from 1.5% to almost 20%. But cigarette smoking dropped from 15.8% to 4.6%. The overall use of nicotine products went down. Remember, tobacco cigarettes are vastly more dangerous than vaping. Of course, one shouldn't inhale anything into the lungs except oxygen. But in the real world, people indulge in pleasures health nannies don't approve of. But there are real differences among those indulgences. For health authorities to equate vaping with inhaling cigarette smoke is blatantly false and counterproductive. Relentlessly trying to ban e-cigarette products will simply increase regular cigarette smoking. San Francisco in 2018 banned e-cigarettes. Tobacco smoking among teenagers and young adults increased. The FDA has suffered recent judicial setbacks in its malicious attempts to strangle the industry, but make no mistake, the relentless, ill-conceived, and often ill-informed attacks against vaping won't cease. The settlement of various states with Juul Labs over charges that had marketed to underage users will be used to attack vaping in general. Where's the science when lives depend upon it? I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Steve Forbes, everybody. Steve Forbes. Just, you know, laying it out there. This is like the third, I think, uh, sorry, had, I had to slide your Cali burn away. I think this is the third, like, vape-related video that Steve Forbes has done, and they've all been right on, you know, just right on with everything he says, ridiculous regulations, FDA, people equating cigarette smoking to electronic cigarettes, the idea that if you do that, you're just a merchant of doubt and you're going to keep people smoking like 
dude, he's firing on all cylinders and I love it and I'm here for it. I left a comment on his YouTube or on the Forbes YouTube. It's not like Steve's YouTube. It's like Steve tube, you know, but the Forbes, uh, you know, official YouTube on that video saw a lot of comments on there. And I said, Steve Forbes, this video is great. What a great video. How do we get you and Bill Gates in the same room to talk about vaping? How do we make this happen? How do we get Bill Gates on board with vaping? Because if we can get Bill Gates on board with vaping, which I know even saying that name in this audience will elicit a reaction, and I promise I'm not trying to trigger you. But if Bill Gates suddenly said, oh, well, you know, in that weird Bill Gates voice, want to watch me jump over a chair? Uh, if he said, this is less harmful than smoking cigarettes, why are we, uh, you know, why are we limiting and, and restricting this? Uh, who, you know, what's behind it? Oh, it's Bloomberg? Okay, well, now we, can, we could have two billionaires of our own to combat the one anti-vaping billionaire. We're, we have to rely on oligarchs and lawsuits in order to not smoke cigarettes. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. Like, like I've said at least a thousand times in the past, I feel like I feel like vaping has just left the station and it's a huge train just barreling down the tracks and I'm just hanging on to the side. You know, I can't control where it's going to go. I can try. I can't control where it's going to go. It has left the station. It is barreling down the tracks. It is eliminating smoking. And what's great, like what I think is going to happen, and again, all my predictions are generally wrong, is I think vaping is going to succeed and, and the government just won't be able to do anything about it. I think it's going to come to a point within the next like two years where smoking is going to be essentially eliminated and Congress people and FDA are still going to be bickering about if people should be using nicotine and if it should be flavored. And they're going to be bickering amongst themselves. Meanwhile, the whole United States is going to go, hey, guys, we, we all quit smoking while you guys were arguing. Like, while they've been talking about the youth vaping epidemic, youth smoking has been eliminated. And they're still ranting about the youth vaping epidemic. It's like, what? This is doing everything you wanted it to, and all you're doing is trying to stand in its way, even when it's already been successful. Vaping's already been successful. <laughs> it's already converted millions of smokers, millions upon millions of smokers. You tell me you're still going to stand in the way of that? What's it going to take? It's going to take no smoking. Philip Morris is like, oh, no, we're done selling cigarettes. Ultra is like, no, we're done selling cigarettes. Oh, look, everybody quit smoking. Congress would still be bickering about the youth vaping epidemic. It's enough to make me insane. Uh, so now let's uh, let's. Uh, OK, let's let's real quickly mention this. I, I would like to do a deeper dive into this with Danielle Jones, maybe not on the next TBN in two weeks when we have another TBN, I'd like someone, uh, just someone smarter than me to, to, to kind of help me get through this. I, I don't have the means to disseminate all of this information. I, I'm only one guy and I spent all day today just reading, <laughs> just reading and trying to make heads or tails of things. Does anybody remember the person Brian King. Anybody remember uh, Brian King, the name Brian King? Does that ring a bell? All my uh, bookmarks are gone. That's great. I love it. Anybody remember Brian King? It was a name from uh, CDC. He was involved with Evali. Evali was Brian King. Uh, the messaging from CDC from Evali was 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 Brian King. I'm going to put a link in the description to this if you want a little more information on what CDC and Brian King did during Evali. We all know what they did during Evali. Nothing. Nothing. They did zero. 
Jim McDonald also has another article on Brian King that you can read right here. It's called, uh, With No Regulatory Experience, Brian King Will Be the CTP Director. Yeah, that's the Center for Tobacco Products. So when we play the funny clip, uh, uh, Mitch? F the FDA. Brian King is taking that guy's job. Brian King is taking Mitch Zeller's job. And I thought Mitch Zeller was bad. Mitch Zeller at least recognized things like tobacco harm reduction or the idea that vaping was displacing smoking or the idea that vaping and cigarettes were product substitutes for each other. He was a little bit hip, you know, he was a little bit woke to vaping. Brian King. A lot of my hope, a lot of my hope for vaping was uh, shit on by Brian King being promoted to the head of the FDA Center for Tobacco Products. I couldn't think of someone more prohibition minded than Brian King. I can't think of anyone less experienced than Brian King. I can't think of someone who talks out of the side of their mouth so much as Brian King. He's a little bit of like a wizard with deflecting and disinformation. He's gotten really good at it. And you know this because after Ivali, citizens of the United States of America stopped vaping because they thought Ivali happened because of Jewel. The reason that they think Ivali happened because of Jewel is directly because of people like Brian King. I don't like Brian King. I don't trust Brian King. I don't like Brian King's power that he has now at the center for tobacco products. Nope. Don't like it. He's been at the head of the Center for Tobacco Products for six, six or seven months now. Six or seven months now. Has not done a single interview in that time. Zero. In the midst of regulations and vaping and the epidemic and jewel and lung injuries and Brian King was at the CDC during Evoli and now there's this, oh, this controversial thing and now he's going to FDA, he's gonna head up the Center for Tobacco Products. What are we, when are we going to hear from Brian King? Apparently not for six full months before he does his first interview. And then when he does his first interview, he does it with Politico, who notoriously, notoriously dislike vaping, constantly posting disinformation, misinformation, half-truths, whole lies about vaping. I think Greg Connolly uh, said it really well right here. Every Politico article on vaping from the last several years can be summed up with one question. Why is the FDA not banning the stuff I dislike faster? Yeah, spot on. And the King era, and in the King era, we're talking about Brian King, expect nothing about his role in causing a record number of Americans to have inaccurate risk perceptions. The reason that people don't know that vaping is safer for you and less harmful for you than smoking combustible cigarettes is because of Brian King. He's keeping people smoking. He did uh, an interview uh, with uh, Politico. Like I said, this is his first interview ever in his new role at CTP. AVM has a huge breakdown of it on Twitter. I'm going to link to it in the description, but honestly, we're not going to we're not going to possibly read this whole thread. Not possibly going to read this whole thread. But what we are going to do is give a little quick hot take as it were. The the article itself is behind a paywall. From what I understand, at least according to AVM, it is a very expensive paywall into the thousands of dollars paywall that you have to pay to read this article with Brian King from Politico, that you have to pay to read Drek. Complete 
Drek. Stay hydrated. <laughs> I couldn't find my water bottle earlier, so I got a, a mug or a glass full of water. Yeah, AVMs did. AVM straight up did, Michael. Straight up did. Even just from the headline, new head tobacco regulator shies away from taking unauthorized cigarettes off the shelves. As Greg Connolly said, why isn't FDA banning the things I don't like faster? This was presented as though FDA is being real timid and, you know, not do not using their enforcement discretion and it's fda's fault that all of these products are still on the market they talk about oh all these companies are just skirting the law what's wrong fda why don't you you know clamp down on this shit there wasn't any questions about like you know why did you mdo a million vapor products that youths never used there were no hardball questions this was all squishy ball questions. Squishy ball questions to Brian King. But this is the fascinating one. And this was my big takeaway from the AVM. The journalist, and I'm going to use this in air quotes, Catherine Ellen Foley. I also want to use this conversation as an opportunity to maybe, you know, correct the record or set the record how you want to have it. Set the record how you want to have it. Not... What's the facts of this? Not what's the truth of what happened, but correct the re set the record how you want to have it. It's basically saying, what's the narrative you want to control? What's the narrative you want to put out there, Brian King? Brilliant journalist. I think there was, back in 2019, when the Evoli crisis was happening, I think you were on record in your previous role as saying, you know, there's no, there's no, we don't know for sure that e-cigarettes are safe and there have been a lot of folks in the vape community who've sort of taken that statement and said, you know, well, this is why doctors don't believe there is a continuum of risk or believe that e-cigarettes are just as harmful as cigarettes. And so I'm wondering, you know, if you can sort of clarify what you meant there. Are you ready for the, the, the single most deflecty, half truth talking out the side of your mouth, non-political answer that you can possibly get? Well, Brian, Brian King's here to, here to please. Yeah, so I think there's an important distinction to be made here. And uh, bottom line is that there is no safe tobacco product, and that includes e-cigarettes. This is the guy that's going to be the head of FDA's Center for Tobacco Products using ancient, ancient, but I guess pretty tried and true, tobacco control, you know, jargon. There is no safe tobacco product. No safe tobacco product. How many times have you heard that there's, there's just no safe tobacco product, including e-cigarettes? None of them are safe. Sure, but surely some of them are safer than others. Wait, it gets better. Oh my God, it gets better, Charles. I think there's an important distinction to be made. And the bottom line here is that there's no safe tobacco product, and that includes e-cigarettes. That's something that's quite apparent by the available science. But safety is also different than risk. Now you're just now you're just mincing words, Brian King. Safety's different than risk. Okay, maybe that's true. But safety is also different than risk, and these are two distinct things. And so for me, I do think that scientifically, we have to have a very nuanced discussion here. Even though there's no safe tobacco product, which I've mentioned on for many years, there's also this notion of risk. And it's also something that I've messaged on for many years. Even following the 2014 Surgeon General's report, 
We've clearly continued to see more science in this area, but it's by no means conclusive in terms of the long-term efficacy of these products to help people transition completely or significantly reduce the amount they smoke. Uh, let's see. Didn't mention anything about Evoli. Took no responsibility for CDC's actions in Evoli. Didn't even address the question he was asked. He just talked in a circle about... Well, there is no safe tobacco products, but safety is different from risk. And there are lower risk tobacco products, but there still is no safe tobacco products. And at least all of the science that I've seen says that, you know, the jury's still out on whether these will help with smoking cessation. Does that answer your question, Catherine? Catherine should have turned to him and said, no, fucking not at all. I asked you about Evoli. You told me there's no safe tobacco products. Right? What? What answer is that? What answer is that? Well, there's a difference between safety and risk, and there's no safe tobacco products, but there are less risky tobacco products. But risk and safety are different, and there is no safe tobacco product, and the science doesn't really show that these are efficacy. You know, there's no efficacy for these for smoking cessation. Brian King, do you need me to read you the question again? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh my God, JJ. I can't believe there's actually people that listen to Brian King and are like, yes, he is right. I believe what he says. <laughs> that was a non-answer, Brian. That was pure deflection. A hundred percent pure deflection. And then the, you know, the journalist is just like, oh, okay, well, really? Yeah, that definitely totally answers my question that I definitely asked you. Yes, we're going to publish this in Politico because at Politico, we care about getting to the truth of the matter and the facts of the matter. And when I asked Brian King about a volley, he told me that there's no safe cigarettes. Right on, Brian King. Right on. Right fucking on. So... I don't trust Brian King. I don't like Brian King. I don't think I don't I don't think I like what Brian King's about to do at the very minimum. At the very base bottom minimum, like most positivity I can possibly pull out of this is zero. The, I thought there was something, but there is actually zero. And for me, why for you? This isn't just for you, Brian King, and for me. I do think that scientifically we have a very nuanced discussion here. Absolutely we do. It's an incredibly nuanced discussion, painfully nuanced discussion. And it sounds to me like Brian King ain't ready to have that conversation yet. Wouldn't even know where to start that conversation. We don't smoke, Brian. <laughs> we vape. Ugh. Unlucky Jimmy Grant. I see you there, buddy. How you doing? Good to see you. So, Brian King, the new Center for Tobacco Products uh, head and... F the FDA. So, that's where we're at. Link is in the description. Link is in the chat literally right now if you want to read the... Uh, American Vapor Manufacturer Association sort of breakdown thread. Uh, it's really long. Like I said, it's behind a paywall, so there's a lot of screen captures. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that. Presented by Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids. Oh, man, I'm, 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 I'm sure that's just a coincidence, you guys. Look, there's no reason why Politico would take money from Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids and then put out a vaping hit piece or purely coincidental purely coincidental guys literally nothing to worry about L literally nothing to worry about all right uh so the very last thing yeah we've gone on too long this is the very last thing this is the very last thing. I promise it's the very last thing. I just want to do some story time with Grim Green. There is a call to action right now in Multmouth County, Oregon for a flavor ban. And one of our resident, uh, one of my resident favorite people on the planet, Jacob Greer, did an op-ed piece uh, for the Oregonian. 
with the headline that says, uh, Multmouth County ban on flavored vapes is misguided and bad for public health. What, lay it on me, Jacob Greer. Lay it on me. Uh, adults in Oregon can walk into any state-licensed liquor store and buy all kinds of flavored liquor from cinnamon whiskey to whipped cream vodka. At Oregon grocery stores, you can buy caramel stouts, fruity sour ales, and mango hard seltzers. Cannabis is legally sold in the form of milk chocolate bars and pink lemonade jellies. But if a new proposal passes in Multmouth County, it will soon be illegal to sell flavored tobacco or nicotine products to adults. The popularity of flavored alcohol and cannabis belies the allegation that flavored tobacco or e-cigarettes are aimed exclusively at youth. But the proposal to ban these products is worse than hypocritical. It's just a bad idea for both public health and criminal justice. The commission says the ban is spurred by the steady rise in the rates of teen vaping. Don't know where they're getting those numbers from. This is misinformed from the start since rates of teen nicotine vaping are in fact declining. The Monitoring the Future survey shows that youth vaping has fallen sharply since its peak in 2019, declining 29% between 2020 and 2021. The National Youth Tobacco Survey has also tracked a substantial decline in youth vaping, although methodological, methodological changes due to the pandemic make precise year-to-year -year comparisons difficult. Most importantly, teen smoking rates have also fallen to the lowest levels on on record, contradicting fears that vaping will act as a gateway to a far more dangerous habit. Teen vaping is a genuine concern, but it should not cause us to lose sight of approximately 440,000 Americans who die directly from cigarette smoking every year. Prominent experts on tobacco policy warn that the singular focus on youth use threatens the potential for e-cigarettes to stem preventable deaths among adult smokers many of whom come from disadvantaged populations. A blanket ban on flavored nicotine products would perpetuate these deaths. Strong evidence suggests that vaping is far safer than smoking, that e-cigarettes are, e are more effective at helping smokers quit than nicotine gums or patches. Yeah. That adult vapors prefer non-tobacco flavors. Yeah. And that widespread transition from smoking to vaping would save millions of life years lost to tobacco. Yes, a thousand percent. Smart policy would encourage smokers to switch. The proposed ban does the opposite, perversely leaving lethal cigarettes available in every convenience store while forbidding their sale, the sale of many safer alternatives. Jacob Greer, what a great, what a, just a way with words. Although the ban would not criminalize the use of nicotine products, it nonetheless raises criminal justice concerns. Forcing sales of menthol cigarettes or flavored vapes into illicit markets can bring existing tax laws into play. In Oregon, unlawful distribution of cigarettes is punishable as a felony. The experience of other jurisdictions provides insight on how these policies may work in practice. A recent report from Massachusetts reveals a substantial shift to illicit markets and police enforcement following the passage of a statewide flavor ban. Yeah, this is... True facts. He, my favorite thing about Jacob Greer is he brings facts with him. There's hyperlinks all over this place, all over this article. In one case, police staked out a Latin American clothing store for selling menthols and arrested the owner. Nothing weird and dystopian about that. Nothing weird and dystopian about that at all, Massachusetts. Another man currently faces up to five years in prison for selling illicit slash untaxed ah, tobacco products. We should be wary that well-intentioned laws may lead to illicit markets, arrests, and incarceration. Oregon is typically a leader in reversing the inhumane excess of the war on drugs. We were the first one of the states to legalize cannabis. We have decriminalized possession of small amounts of most drugs. We're legalizing psychedelic therapy in our state health authority, encourage harm reduction through noxalone and needle exchanges. When smoking takes the lives of more users than any of these drugs, how can the commission justify denying adults the right to safer alternatives? Holy crap, Jacob Greer. 
We long ago realized it's better to sell fruity cannabis gummies in regulated stores than to throw marijuana dealers in prison and to embrace harm reduction over unrealistic expectations of abstinence. Adult smokers, vapors, and nicotine consumers deserve the same respect for their autonomy and well-being. Will we learn from our past or keep making the same mistakes over and over again? Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Greer, go read it. Go share it. Uh, there's a CASA call to action for Multmouth County, Oregon. If you're in Oregon, if you're in Multmouth County, Oregon, especially, do the call to action. Do it. Do it. Do it. I personally believe that when states do real harm reduction, like Oregon, not like California, like Oregon, it's only a matter of time before vaping is in included in that. You know, it, it's literally only a matter of time. Be somewhere in Oregon. That's right, Rob. West Coast, best coast. West Coast, best coast. I'm just kidding. I don't care. It's not a West Coast, East Coast thing. You know what? America, you know, we're all Americans. Damn it. I'm feeling patriotic. I think I saw some super chats. We're definitely running long and we're going to do mail after that. I'll put links to literally everything I talked about in the description of this video. Remember that you don't have to do everything, but you do have to do something. Defend vaping. Super chats. Uh, where did I leave off? Grinchy Clouds. I think I left off with Mr. Grinchy Clouds. It's very gracious of you, Grinchy. Uh, yo, yo, I have been smoke free for a year now. Oh, I love that. One year. Thank you for making the journey fun. I also got a picture of the future Lil Grinchy today. Again, thank you. Congratulations, Grinchy. Smoke free for a year. I, I love the crap out of it. And you got you got pictures of your future little Grinchy. Congratulations, bro. I hope you're having a great Thursday. Congrats on a, on a year smoke free. Uh, G GTT, is that will this even work? Alexa, play fart sounds. Did that work? Did anybody start playing fart sounds? All right. Uh, Rhett's beard says confirm driver's license to prove over twenty one. <sighs> Now that now, no, no, nope. This is the black market, baby. We don't card here. The FDA created this. This is the FDA's fault that we don't card in the black market. Of course, I'm going to card. Look, I worked at 7-Eleven uh, for a year and carding people is literally the easiest thing you can do. You just say you have your ID. And if they say no, you say, I can't sell you this beer then. <laughs> And that happened so many times. There were guys, people who were clearly into their 40s, like way older than I was working at 7-Eleven. You want to buy a 12-pack of beer? I'm going to card you. You got your driver's license? Uh, nope. Sorry that you look 45. I can't sell you this beer without a driver's license. It upsets people. Sometimes people would come back with the driver's license and sometimes, you know, young dudes would try to come in and buy beer and you go, oh, you have your ID? And they're like, oh, no, I don't, I don't have it. Shit, bro, do you have your ID? Oh, you don't have your, fuck. No, I guess we left them. Sorry, I can't sell you the beer then. Oh, yeah. You know, and they leave, never come back. So easy. I don't know why, why is it so difficult? It's the one system we use to keep literally everything adult related away from kids. Oh, you want to buy this booze? Do you have an ID? No, sorry. Oh, you want to buy this uh, cannabis? Oh, do you have an ID? Oh, you don't? Sorry. Oh, you want to buy nicotine vaping? Oh, you don't have an ID? Sorry. That's how it works. Sorry, Rhett's Beard. You sent me on a rant. It just happened. Fishy. Uh, for all you Clerks fans, fucking A, Fishy Clerks fans, I literally shouted the phrase, I'm not even supposed to be here today as I was supposed to have jury duty, but I wasn't picked. So I went into work <laughs> on a day that I already had off <laughs> more seatbelt fishy. That's the, that's <laughs> you took the day off for jury duty and then you didn't get jury duty. At the, so you went into work anyway, the, the day you already had off 
Fishy, I got to talk to you about your your work life balance here. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Fishy. I'm glad you didn't have uh, I'm glad you didn't have jury duty. If we have enough time, we're gonna open mail and we're gonna build a little. Uh, I don't even remember the name of it. Bogan Stubby Dick. I barely, barely made it back from that. Holy crap. Barely. I really hope there's a stubby in here. If there's not a stubby in here, man, the whole rest of the vlog is going to be dumb. Super dumb. Uh, before we get into some mail, let's, uh, we've been spending some time with Phil. Let's hit, let's hit up Adam. Uh, we're going to hit up Adam for some hydration needs. It might say paid sponsor on this video. On this video, it's coldest water bottle. It's just a water bottle, you know? I like it. It keeps my water crispy, cool, cold, even in the heat wave of Los Angeles. I'll put a I'll put a link in the description. You can pick one up. Use the code Grim. You get you get like 10% off. I get some coin in my pocket, help support this channel, and then we all get a big uh, water bottle with uh that's a great palette for stickers. So let's uh let's hydrate with Adam. Yeah, that's just a really good, I like this practice of just crushing water, taking a big rip. It feels good. It's like a little bit of like a reset. And that tobacco kicks ass. Kicks ass. All right, guys. You want to open some mail? You want to open some mail in the mail mail. How's everybody doing? I feel like I've been going like just a hundred miles an hour and I haven't like got to catch up with anybody. I hope you guys are doing good tonight. I hope you guys are kicking ass tonight. 9,000. Oh, that was almost right into my leg. That's okay. And, oh, oh, come on. I'm not reviewing this shit. Fuck off. I'm not reviewing this. What is this? Mesh coils? I don't even know what this is. It's It appears to be like five different things. Uh, one of them is this fucking stupid beeper. The beeper AIO? It looks like a beeper. I okay, maybe I just I just don't get it. You doing good, sewer rug? Ashton, you doing good too? You doing good? Bray's doing good? Fantastic today. Appreciate that. That's cool, man. I'm glad you guys are doing good. Great to be here. Tyler Baugh, I'm I'm excited you're here. Okay, so. This is a, uh, it's meant to look like a beeper, you see? So, so you get the dorky thing, you can clip it to your belt. Uh, it comes out of here, and it's a boro. It's a boro. It looks like a billet box, like very, very like a billet box. No screen but very, very like a billet box. The back panel doesn't come off, so that'll be really great for getting like your batteries out, your boro tank, should make everything super easy. And it comes with an RDTA boro that goes on the inside. You getting a look at this? Don't even know what this is called. Comes in the beeper. And it's an RDTA with airflow at the top. And it comes with mesh. It's a mesh RDTA. It's a mesh RDTA. 
I gotta say, this beeper design is probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. Just good God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a mesh. It's a mesh stainless steel cable based RDTA for Boro. Well, we did it. We reached the pinnacle of stupidity. I'm just kidding. I'm being too mean to this. I'm, I, I want to give it a try. Of course, I'm willing to give it a try. I got a couple different airflow, you know, inserts in here. There's one with slots. There's one with holes. Uh, oh, 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 I see. Oh, there's no other door. Oh, so the back of the door for this is that. There's no door that holds your boro in. There's no door that holds your boro or battery in. It's literally the case. The case becomes your door. So you have to use it with the clippy thing. There's no option not to, or you won't have a door. I'm just going to put all this away. Um, I'm just going to put all this away. Let me see in the chat. Is anybody like... Yeah, the beeper. <laughs> so cool. Okay, this is this is all the uh this is all the feedback I'm getting. Here we go. Um, yep. Yep, the beeper AIO is terrible, waste of money. Uh those vapes are best in the trash. Yeah, I guess I I agree with that, Walter. Kind of gimmicky like the vapable watch. I, I could see that. I could see that. I could see that. GTT I have no reason not to believe you. RDTA is trash. Chances are you're right. <laughs> Todd's died in an hour. I don't even think I'm going to build this or put this together or fuck in anything. I mean, thank you, Wiz Vapor, for sending me stuff I may never use. Uh, but look. I'll at least give the RDTA a try. I may never use the Beeper Pro, the Beeper AIO, but I will give the RDTA a try, no matter how bad it is. There is doors with it. Okay, there is doors with it. it says there's doors with it. I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't like mesh. Fuck mesh. <laughs> I'm anti-mesh. Unless it's in a coil head, I don't care about mesh. Oh, yeah, there is. There's more at the bottom. You got to pull this whole fucking big foam thing out. There's more at the bottom. O-rings, uh, some wicks, uh, and doors. Yes, doors. So, okay, that can go immediately in the garbage. If it didn't, like... Here's the stupidest. <laughs> Maybe I'm just cranky. <laughs> Maybe I'm just cranky. There's the door. Okay, sick. So that's so much better already. If they just got rid of this that said beeper AIO and they didn't try to market it as a beeper AIO and just called it like the Futara, I, this isn't bad looking. It looks like a little billet box, maybe a little bit more techy. You got a screen, you got a button right here. It doesn't look bad, but it's so goddamned gimmicky, and you can't put it in the holder if there's a door on the back. You, you can't, it won't go in the holder with a door on the back. So gimmicky. It's uselessly gimmicky, like pointlessly gimmicky. Oh, we got the kind of this cool designy AIO. You know, that kind of looks like a beeper. We should put beeper on it and market it as a beeper. What? What? Okay. Okay. Now that I got everything out of the beeper box, I can't get everything back in the beeper box. <laughs> Spiffy. I will give that Boro a try. I don't like mesh. I like mesh in this. I like mesh coil heads. Get out of here. 
meshing an RDA, meshing an RDTA, meshing an RTA, where you have where you have like an arch of mesh and two con and like two contacts right here. So you screw it down on the sides and you have an arch of mesh and then you have the cotton through the middle, that big wad of cotton through the middle. Dislike. There are so many different ways to vape that I could never vape that for the rest of my life and be perfectly happy. No, it will not go into the door into the holder if it has a door. Here, I can uh, let me double check. Let me double check just to make sure. You know, I don't want to put things out there that aren't, uh, you know, that are fabricated, that are falsehoods. So let's get the door. Doors on. Here's the holder. Okay, it, it does. It goes in. It goes in. It's just a real snug fit, and it left a scrape. When you so when you pull it in and out, the little tab uh, is just gonna put a scrape stripe down your door. When you jam it in there, boop, that's a that's a scratch. That's a scrape. That's that's never going away. Because when you slide this in, I'll just show you. You see this little tab back here. Oh yeah, look at that, scraping, scraping. And then when you get it out, oh, just scrapes all along the back. Oh, I made it even deeper. More scratches. I feel like someone didn't think this all the way through, you know? I feel like, I feel like that someone didn't think this all the way through. Just don't like mesh outside of a sub tank. Have I mentioned that? Did I say that too many times? Let's, let's keep this out. Yeah, maybe I am. Maybe I'm grumpy. Maybe I was too grumpy about talking about Brian King. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be super grumplicious. It's just, you know, stuff like that sets me off. And then honestly, after spending however long we spent, a half hour or so, talking about news and advocacy and the youth vaping and inappropriate marketing, and then I get a fucking beeper in the mail. At least it's not the Game Boy thing. I knew that Game Boy was bad news. I told them, eat shit. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I always get in trouble for showing stuff too soon. But that shouldn't change anything. I'm going to show stuff too soon. What we got is some hot Vupu action. Vupu can get mad at me if they want to. Looks pretty slick, like NGL, the Draggy 60 looks pretty sick. We got a Drag H80S. That Draggy 60's calling my name more than the Drag H80. Well, you know, I, uh, I only really have like 300 things I still need to review, so we're gonna add this to the pile. Do you kinda wanna open the E60 just a little bit just to see how big it is? I just want to open it just a little bit, just to see how big it is, okay? Just give me a second. Oh, it's small. It's got to be small. That is slick. Gold. The golden green isn't necessarily my favorite, but look at that little palm banger. Lungs. I bet this uses TPP coil heads. It's got the magnetic tank. The magnetic tank spins, but that's okay. Three quarter turn, top fill, top fill PNP TPP coil head. Got to be an internal battery. Got to be the gene chip on the inside. You know, I'm just making a lot of assumptions. Yeah, gene 2.0, same that's in that Argus. Smart mode, wattage mode, it's got up down buttons. This is instantly appealing to me. Instantly appealing to me. I like this exponentially more than I like that beeper. <laughs> Probably 50 to 100 times more than I like that beeper. Oh, drag. See, that's the problem. Like, I know this isn't, I know Vupu's going to say like, oh, you're going to wait like two weeks, three weeks before you do the video for the Drag E60. I'm like, oh, okay. I want to start using it literally right now though. Whatever. I think I'm saving the one that I think is the uh, 
the boner until uh, until the end, until the last package. We got some more you wellness. Just you well and smock products raining from the sky. And okay, hang on, hang on. This looks like a classy, classy Chowd Cl Cloud Chaser CBD reviews just shamelessly promoting his YouTube in my chat. Shameless, shameless. I like it when the boxes are really difficult to open. Oh, okay, never mind. I have I want to have almost nothing to do with this. Actually, it does look kind of cool. Uh, you're supposed to wear it around your neck, and I will never do that. Okay, so it's a closed pod system. Closed pod looks like this. Hmm. I like the fleur de lis. I think that's a cool design. I don't necessarily like like the aged copper look, but it's kind of cool. It it rubs me the wrong way that it looks like dog tags. And I don't know why that rubs me the wrong way. You're supposed to wear it as such as well. Like I will show you, you know, for the sake of science how you're supposed to wear this. Two. Two. And then it hangs on your chest and is supposed to look like dog tags. And I don't, that kind of rubs me the wrong way. I don't know. I didn't even serve in the military and it kind of rubs me the wrong way. Kind of just rubs me the wrong way and I can't explain it. Um, yeah, barf on this like a thousand times. Sorry, you will. Uh, I will absolutely do without the chain. I don't super like the way this looks, but at the end of the day, it's unique. And if it vapes good, then who cares? You know, if it vapes good, who gives a hell? Not me. It's weirdly named. They called it the sculptor. It is the sculptor. Uh, I think it comes in uh, other colors too. There's a bronze, a silver, and a gold. And I opened the copper. Silver, bronze, and gold, I opened the copper. I, I'm sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. I am sorry. Terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. It works for you. Okay. Well, shit. If you want to wear it with your regular dog tags, more power to you. I don't know why. That just sits weird with me. It uh, feels a little... Listen, and I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I, I didn't serve in the military, so I have no really right to say much of anything. But for a long time, I got sucked into uh, Stolen Valor videos where actual people from the military would confront people who were just playing cosplay and pretending to be in the military and wearing ranks that you know weren't based in reality and were clearly like it's like a stolen valor thing and that really rubbed me the wrong way i watch i remember watching a ton of stolen valor videos and just getting mad you know i don't know it's just the way i feel sorry geek vape e100 all right Honestly, looks kind of dope. I like single battery devices. I'm not going to open this up right now, but we have a Geek Vape E100 kit. It's getting added to the queue. It's going to get reviewed at some point. But wait, a uh, second to last box. I think I know what's in this box. I think I know what's in this box. And I'm just going to double check. Yeah, that's a no-no, right, Tribal Buddha? Okay, I'm not wrong. That is a no-no. That is a no-no. That is a no-no. And it was and like the yeah, Stolen Valor on YouTube. It's it's not just one dude, but there's a bunch of like Stolen Valor videos on YouTube, but there was one guy doing it. 
and yeah those videos oh, okay holy shit <laughs> yeah maybe maybe this company is just going to become a, a, a an unpaid sponsor of the vlog i got two uh 12 packs of uh i call it diarrhea soda but it's not really diarrhea soda it's uh it's olipop it's not a soda it is a sparkling tonic the cherry vanilla rules cherry vanilla rules hard I've ate, I I mean I drink it all the time. Um, it's got like you know minerals and botanicals and things inside of it. Here, let me read you the, the like the actual can. It's caffeine free. It's sugar free. It's got uh, yeah plant powered botanicals, prebiotics, plant fiber. It's supposed to help your gut biome. You know, it's actually like a like a beneficial thing that you would drink. Okay, I lied. Five grams of sugar. They're delicious. Olipops, if you get one, uh, just be prepared to poop, and then you'll have a great time. You know, seriously. Just be prepared to poop. You'll have a great time. Yeah, I know. And what a, what a, what a tough conversation to have, Tribal Buddha. I had to tell my daughter she couldn't take my uniform to school because she didn't earn the right to wear it. It's you're absolutely. I mean, that, it's, that that is absolutely correct, though. If you don't, if you didn't earn it, you don't you don't get to wear it. Oh, that see, that's sad. It was for show and tell. She wanted to talk about me in the military. I'm sorry to hear that, Trevor Buddha. That sounds like a that sounds like a tough call, you know. I believe this to be the stubby. We're, we're, we're fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that this is some hot stubby action. <sighs> Good lord. What maybe I just opened this box weird. Uh let's see. Packing peanuts. Are these the edible ones? Okay, yes. Even though they're blue, these are the edible ones. They're made out of rice so that children and dogs don't eat them and die. It's like when they started putting propylene glycol into uh, antifreeze so that dogs wouldn't die when they when they licked it off the ground. Same thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 But wait, there's more. Boosh. Stubby tank, mother trucker. Is this, uh, actually, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I wasn't sure if this is like pure, is it Boro compatible? I believe it to be Boro compatible, but maybe not. Uh-oh. Two stubbies. Do, 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 do. And a circuit board. Why do I have spare circuit board? Why do I have a spare circuit board? Maybe that's a feature. And another stubby tank. All right, sick. 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 Trash can go away. This is sick. Okay, really excited about this. Uh, that's the end of the vape mail. Let's see, are any of these stickers usable? Um, eh, let's see, let's put, the, let's put the one that's like weed and uh, crystals somewhere can i stick this on here you see it i don't want to cover anybody up that's the problem well you're gonna to have to go somewhere where no one will see you ever again over here yep nope you're gonna go down here nope totally off camera oh well i'm sorry about that dude some cool vape mail stuff i like the, i like the looks of that voo don't know that I love the looks of the, uh, you will, uh, you know, <laughs> pod system, but, uh, it's got an eight, what? It's got an eight mil, wait, I, I'm being bombarded with great information right now. Mick says the circuit board is changeable and wireless. Okay, that's rad. I don't know why it would need to be changeable, but 
Look, if I can change it out, I'll change it out. It's got an eight mil boro tank, Jangles is telling me. I can't, I can't. You can't call dibs. <laughs> you can't call dibs on the second stubby. I apologize. Um, do do you, should we just start? Should we just build this right now? Let's just get into it. Uh, let me actually take a real quick bio break. I wanna I wanna urinate before uh, before we sit and have a, a little build session here. So I'm gonna be right back, and I'm gonna leave you with some. Uh, be right back. Pizza? Who's having pizza? Who's having pizza? Ashton? Is there wait, is there pizza available? Is there pizza available that I don't know about? Okay, so the real question that we need to ask, and I'm not gonna do a poll chat for this or anything. But here's the real question we need to ask. Do I open the Purple Haze or the Black Widow? I'm immediately drawn to the Purple Haze because it says Purple Haze and that just is appealing to me. Black Widow or Purple Haze. I think I'm going to open the purple so that the black one, the matte black one I'm assuming, will be able to be, uh, you know, given away. Given away. In fact, here, we're going to look at both of them real quick. I apologize to the future owner of this black stubby. I'm opening it right now. I promise not to like lick it or breathe on it or anything. I just want to see the color. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's matte black. It's matte black. Straight up matte black. It's a little chonky guy. That is a little chonker. What happened there? Little chonker? Little button? I kind of got some smudgies on it there. What do you do? What is that for? What are you for? I'm fascinated by this. Dang. Okay, so that's the matte black. That's the, uh, what they call the black widow stubby. It's a nice little guy. Uh, you know, it's a little, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna reserve my judgment until we actually get it built and uh, and they're actually vaping it. Let's get th Let's get into this purple haze here. Let's get into this purple haze. Pretty excited for this stubby. It says, stubby, bogan, suicide, orca. We got a uh, little insert card here. Oh, look at this. Look how nice, look how nice bogan's being. G'day, dickhead. Thanks heaps for picking up a stubby. About two years ago, I fell noggin first into the world of boros. And it seems you may have too. So I thought it would be about bloody time I bought one for myself. With the help of suicide mods and orca vape, we have developed a mod that is versatile. Is my Australian accent upsetting anybody? I feel like it's upsetting the whole of Australia right now. This is versatile and customizable with high quality finish. Hope you think it's fair. Hope you think it's fair dinkum as we do. Cheers, Bogan. I can't not do it in, in an Australian accent. Yeah, the purple looks good. I knew the purple would look good. The purple with the black button looks sick. Purple with the black button looks real sick. 
It looks like there's a lot of tabs. I'm assuming maybe I can unscrew those and that's where the chip can be replaced. I kind of like that the screen is covered with a thing. I don't know, do I like that? I think I kind of like that, that it has its own little tiny little weird door that just sits on there. I actually, maybe, I actually kind of think that looks cooler. Maybe that's, maybe I'm just old school and that's how it looks. So then there is a front boop right there. Huge opening, gigantic opening on the inside. Boom engraved in the back, Bogan Suicide Orca. I got number 1242, spectacular. Contact on the bottom. This looks like an adapter for normal sized boros so that the contact boop goes through. And then you can, looks like, can you fit a normal sized boro in there? Or is that too big? Why does that look too big? That looks gigantic. You prefer the Snape? Okay. I'm sorry, Ashton. I'll try to do a I'll try to do a Snape impression. And then on this side, that's where the battery goes. And you get a micro USB or a uh, USB-C cable. Great. Drip tip. Great. Okay. Okay. Stubby. Focus. Stubby. It looks like there's a wheel <laughs> that just falls straight off for adjusting, uh, I'm assuming. I mean, I'm assuming j adjusting for the battery. Got him back on there. 18650 or 21700. 18650 or 21700. 18650. Absolutely. Absolument. So let's get a nice 18650 in here. That's interesting. Instead of doing it spring loaded, it's like a really old school design that I clearly tightened down a little too far, but you, un you screw this down and that like tightens your battery into place. It's pretty interesting. It seems to work honestly well. Nope. A lot of doors, you know, a lot of doors on this stubby here. Lots of doors on the stubby. Three panels. Uh, Grim Green, you put the battery contact on upside down. Pam? Did I really? No, I didn't. Yeah, it's positive side down. Positive side down. I know what I'm doing sometimes. I do want to look at this tank, though. Oh, the wheel is upside down? Is that really what I did? All right, let's get it out of there. Thanks for the, thanks for calling me out. So that means it's gotta go like, what? That way seems harder. Okay, let's try it. So this wheel has a tab and the tab has to face down at your battery and the smooth side goes against the top. Oh, the doors, I could see that drip theory. I could see that. So if you wanted to, you could buy two stubbies and put the, the black doors on the purple, right? As I understand it, that seems correct now. Battery goes in, screw this down. The wheel has a nipple. The wheel. The wheel. The wheel. Yeah, nipple down. Nipple down. That's where the boro goes. That's the button. Okay. Let's put this door back on. Uh, you know, it is a lot of doors. It's just a lot of doors. Beastly. Look at this beastly thing. Ah, uh, apparently it does. Go straight in there. Holy shit. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. 
I'm shocked. Uh, I love this idea. I I'm surprised. I mean, I'm glad Bogan did it, and I'm surprised it took so long for someone to do just a a really tall ass Boro. You know? I'm sure. Yeah, Obey Robot will definitely make doors for the stubby. A hundred percent. Two hundred percent. In the tank. You do get, uh, let's see, we got some spare O-rings, spare screws, this little number right there, not sure what that's for, airflow pins, I'm assuming, and spare stainless steel cables. This is your stainless steel cables inside your deck, inside your boro, rather, fills from the front, pretty slick, fills from the front, I like that, single coil, Big airflow through the middle because I'm going uh, restricted lung. I believe that is the biggest one. Will someone correct me if that's not the biggest airflow through the middle? But all of these in here appear much smaller. Down to like a mouth to lung. That to me is mouth to lung sized airflow. That airflow looks to be the biggest of the airflows. Uh, you know what, Dean of the Dead? I cannot answer that question. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I have the seventh floor tango on right now. Oh, here, we don't need that going. We might do this, though. Huh? Huh? Some old uh, chill beats, maybe? Love it. The ger Yeah. Germans are going to love this. That looks like the biggest airflow to me, so I'm just going to go with it. Huh. All right. Well, I'll be damned. Now, whoa. Whoa, stainless steel. Whoa. Okay, so this does have a 510 on the bottom, which means... Uh, I'm going to have to use the Gore Mod. I'm going to have to take the Rage Tank off of this for the first time. That is a big capacity. That just looks like a like a box of Tic Tacs, you know? Looks like a box of Tic Tacs sitting up there. Oh, here, 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 here. I'll do good housekeeping while we go. All right, well, let me grab a, uh, a coil. I don't know, what, what, what resistance should I be shooting for here? Single 18650 regulated. There's probably something a little higher. Maybe. Okay, this is the giveaway, Stubby. I don't even know. I don't know what to put in here. Help. Let's see. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, just one more time. Twisted Timmy's to the rescue. Twisted Timmy's coils. Boop. Um, I have a this. And I used one already, and I want to use the other one. Hi. Hi. Mech Boro Aliens, two and a half millimeter, Nichrome 90, 0.2, 0.22, single ohm, single coil. Perfect. Timmy's Micro Aliens. Tribal Buddha. We ba Great minds, you know? You know what I say? Great minds. Let's see if we can get this in here. That's what she said. No, but seriously. Let's see if we can get this in here. Small flathead screws are gonna open up these posts right here, which look, you know, it's too tall. Seems like there's some pretty good distance on there. So this is gonna go this way. So I already unscrewed the wrong screw, that's fine. 
I'm interested to see how open this airflow gets. It looks like it's going to be uh, a little, I don't want to say claustrophobic in this deck, but eh, maybe a little claustrophobic in the deck. You know, I, I have to be skeptical. I go into everything skeptically, you guys. It's just the way I am. Shit. Easiest install of my life. Like, no joke, easiest install of my life. Easier than a K-Fun. I don't know why I said easier than a K-Fun, because sometimes K-Funs can be a pain in the ass. Slick. Just one little, it's not quite centered. All right, all right. We're going to center it. We're going to push it down just a little bit. That, on the other hand, you guys, is a 10 out of 10 install. 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Looking pretty open. Airflow's looking pretty open, soft carrots. Hope you're doing good, soft carrots. Let's see what we ended up with. Yep. Sounds fine. 0.17, but that will come up to a 0.2, hopefully. Let's turn this down now to like 36 watts. Grab my ceramic tweezers. Always use ceramic tweezers. We're gonna strum. We're gonna pulse and strum, baby. As soon as I take my glasses off. Oops, wattage might be a little bit hot. There we go. Yeah, uh, the wattage was eh, a little bit hot for that glow, but it's glowing nice. <laughs> That's got a uh, crazy quick, crazy quick ramp up. Holy cow. Let me pull this off of here and get a real uh, resistance reading. I like you, The Lost World of JJ. Thank you. If you hit that like button, you guys, it really helps me out like in a severe way. Let's double check this resistance. Dude, I'm just kind of astonished right now how big this tank is. Yeah, we got right at a, ready? Shit, yeah, right at a point two one. Two one eight point two one eight. Perfect, perfect. Uh, BP mods cotton here it is All right dude I like these chill beats test the cap cut the legs you're right Jake Jake Scrapwood, what would I do without you? And honestly, because of that, because of that helpful hint, I was just gonna, I was just gonna wick this thing, dude. I was just gonna wick it, and not even care. Good lord. The great thing is they kind of. I don't know how thick this. I don't know how thick this top cap is, but the posts are kind of back a little bit from the edge, so there's a little bit of leeway. I still am gonna try to get in here and trim the shit out of these. As with all Boro things. Yeah. Okay. Good call, Jake. In fact, in honor of that good news, in honor of that good, good advice, Jake Scrapwood, here's the liquid. I have some, I don't know if anybody remembers a Jake Scrapwood's bourbon honey vanilla tobacco, uh, but I love it, and I've been saving this bottle of three milligram, saving it. For a special occasion, Scrapwood's original 
three milligram vanilla bourbon honey tobacco. Uh, it's awesome. It's just awesomeness in a bottle. That's what's going in here. We're putting it in here, Jake. All right, let's test this cap. Point two, point two, point two. Firing, firing, firing. Test fit was successful. Thank you, Jake. And like I said, the great thing is they give you a little bit of leeway here. I don't think this cap is as quite as thick as the deck and the posts, posts, the slots that you're, you know, that hold your leads are, are in just a little bit in. So it's not super difficult. That's the single most annoying thing about everything related to Boro is test fitting that cap. I can't believe I was just going to completely space that, bro. You can see how dirty my hands are because this cotton is dirty. Ugh. Gross ass, Nick. Fucking gross ass. Okay. Okay. This look. This is pretty good so far. This is pretty good so far. Ten out of ten. Die Hard 1997. I like to think that that's Bruce Willis hiding behind a screen name. You know. If you're Bruce Willis, just say nothing. <laughs> now for cutting. Uh, what do you guys think about wick fluffing? What's the wick fluffing situation on this? I think I'm going to do it because it's mesh. Because it's stainless steel cables. And I always, always, always have much better luck with stainless steel cables when I thin the wicks out. Dynavaps, come on. Wait. Ashton, wait for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hope you guys are getting your Dyna snaps out there for sure. What's up, Mix Squad Vlogs? Lurk away, buddy. We're just getting to some hot, uh, some hot stubby action. Doing some uh, wick thinning because it's stainless steel, you know, cables as your wicks, and I feel like this just will work better now. It's one of the things, uh, the Artemis Top Coiler really helped out if you thin your wicks. I haven't come across an RDTA yet that doesn't benefit from some wick thinning. Get it fluffy. Oh, wait. I forgot to do the under tickle. Mike Vapes is gonna punch me. Under tickle. Okay. Under tickle. Okay. Whew. Could you imagine? Mike Vapes shows up at my house, punches me square in the face. Didn't do the under tickle. I'm sorry, Mike. What the fuck? All right. Let's get these in here. Uh, I can't do the flip. You know, I never could. Never could do the flip. But we can thumb. In fact, holy shit. Okay. There's not much room uh, up here for your wicks. I just want to make that point known. There's not really a catch cup. You kind of just press them, uh, and it helps if your stainless steel cables are pushed down all the way. But there's really, like... There's nowhere for these wicks to go. I'm just going to wet them and uh, hopefully, like, K-Fun, old school K-Fun kind of glue them into place. Kind of glue them. What, Pam? Why you come here and judge me? Gr coil's too low. The wicks are too short. Well, we're just going with it. Those wicks are pretty short. I think that I think they'll work. I think they'll work.
Especially if I can get them wet and like, you know, get them to where they need to go. I actually felt like I cut the wicks a little too long, but if Pam's correcting me, then I might have actually done this wrong. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll get it better. We'll get it right next time. Okay. That's much easier. It's much easier to keep your wicks in place once they're moistened. See, that doesn't look so terrible, even though it's a little high on the screen. I feel pretty confident about this. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, honestly, pretty confident about this. Yeah, fluff up, then gently, kind of just push, I just pushed them down and they're just barely touching the tops. Barely touching the tops of those stainless steel cables. They're just tickling them. Just tickling them. You wouldn't have pushed the cables down? All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. The cables are were, were definitely movable, and the cables are not... Oh, yeah. They're not angularly cut on the bottom. We'll see. I'm sure... You know... It's like a, it's like uh, Alpha Omega Magnum says. I'm sure it will work out perfectly. Thank you. This is the positive. This is the positive energy I needed. Hit it. What? Not yet. Oh, it's really, really crackling hard. Thir this is a point two at 36 watts. That's like a series mech. That's craziness. Oh, I see. These nubbins inside your cap press your wicks in. See how when I put the cap on, it pushed both my wicks right into like, uh, it was like a Play-Doh, like a Jello mold. These notches position your wicks kind of for you. Let's get it in. That's what she said. Let's get it in. Let's get it in the boro. Let's get it in the stubby. Yeah. <laughs> Fits, obviously, you know, it was designed to do this. Man, I think the flavor is going to be like hyper banging on this. Like crazy banging. Yeah, I guess that's uh, that's it. That's the extent of it. Uh, let's see. Now I have to take the screen door off. There it is. Nice little display. Uh, no, mode settings, exit, mode settings, exit. Dude, this is a nice screen. This is a cool screen. I'm sure most to all of us have seen the screen, but look, scrolls, that's cool. Uh, let's see. This gets you to the menu. Look at that. Settings, exit, that's it. Mode, what modes can we do? Power, bypass, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, exit. We're going to stay on bypass. Yeah, it's reading uh, 0.22. I took one toot. That was my first toot. Sick. It's working. Let's, uh, let's fill this up. Let's fill this up, stubby. This kind of, here, nobody take this the wrong way, okay? Especially you, uh, Vape and Bogan, if you're watching this. This gives me, like, Kanger any box vibes. The, uh, the, the tank that runs the length of the device. That was an any box thing. They were leaky as hell. But just the idea of like a tall mod with a tall tank that, that the whole tank runs the length of the uh, device. I think that's cool. It's as filled as it's getting. It's as basardoed as it is. That looks sufficiently full. We'll see what happens with the wicking. 
Michelle Lindahl Dime Mods, happy to see you here. What do these run, Bob? Bob. Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Your ohms are too low. What? <laughs> what is? What do these run? Do you know what these run? I didn't mean to single you out, but I noticed you said they were expensive. And I actually do not know the price on these at all. Lots of doors. That's what I'll say right now. Big front door. It's going to line up. Boop right there with your airflow. Like, these were made to go together. Boop right there with your airflow. That's it. It's just a palmable little guy. The airflow kind of lives right in between your fingers right there because my thumb's going to be hitting the button right here. Now, the final touch, the final touch that we can possibly add to this bit loose. Uh, it's a little bit loose, Oleg. What about this one? Oh, all Oleg drip tips are a little bit loose in here. That does not give me much hope for the just try it drip tip. Because these are all super loose. Whoa. Okay, fine. Forget about it. I don't want a long dorky drip tip. Want something like this? Oh, that's kind of slick. A little, a little purple and green Joker action. That could be a thing. Hey, that's good to know. Oh, holy crap. Good on you, Legion Vapes. Our resident uh, Australian delegation. Australian delegation from America, I believe. I didn't see a price still. Someone... Not expensive. Uh, you can just get a DNA Boro mod with lifetime warranty for $70 more and American made. Just my two cents. Oh, I, I get you, Bob. I get you. I get you. All these drip tips are super loosey goosey. Uh, I have this is one of the oldest drip tips ever manufactured in America. I got that in 2010. We could go real, real old school. Oh no, this one, this one needs to be cleaned. These asymmetric drip tips, I used to love them with the slice cut out of it. I thought that looked so fucking cool. Damn, all right. I thought I had a cool drip tip for this. Turns out I don't. Whoops, watch where you're rowing. All right, let's use the tugboat. Tugboat drip tip, done, decided. It has been decided. I can't possibly use a short drip tip on this. Just wouldn't feel right. But this, there's the stubby. I don't know what that's for still. Probably something internal. There's the stubby. It's literally nothing from the outside. It just looks like a purple deck of cards, you know? Just a purple deck of cards. Let's turn off you uh, chill beats. Uh, I'm just gonna, uh, do, do a little bit of good housekeeping here. You can talk amongst yourselves for a second, as you have been, you know, the whole stream. Oh, you're the drip tip. I just don't want to use you. Uh, it's even kind of like monarchy, like it's an oval. It's an ovally drip tip. I better keep this in the bag so I know whether it's for the stubby. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Okay, stubby. We got a stubby. We built it. Uh, apparently, my coils are too low. My wicks are too short. But you know what? We're just going to vape it anyway. Plentiful, smooth airflow. Eh, maybe a little bit on the loud side. Maybe a little bit on the loud side. Oh, it's the cover for the USB-C port. Oh. Oh, no. Hey, I guess that's okay. It's just, uh, it's, it's just, it just comes out. So if you charge this at your desk, you pull out a tiny little rubber thing and then don't lose it. I don't like that at all. I would just assume never use the USB-C charging port. 
Not to mention, this is super difficult to get back on straight. Yeah, never use that USB-C port. Never. Let's have a first toot. Let's have an inaugural toot. It's a, uh, it's a point two. I'm only running it at... Why is my battery so dead? Who told me to change my battery earlier? <laughs> this battery's super dead. Holy shit. super dead battery made it back into my uh, regular rotation, but it's all right. Get a better battery in there. One that's uh, not completely, completely dead. All right. Doors. Here's what I'll say. There are a lot of doors, but they go on real, real nice. You can kind of just drop them into place. Four magnets. Holds on great. Okay, cheers. Here's the first toot on the stubby. Jake Scrapwood Honey Bourbon Vanilla Tobacco's on the inside. Twisted Timmy's Coils. BP Mods Cotton. My coil's too low. My wicks are too short. Ugh. Nothing happened. I, oh, I probably just need some more wattage. Point 0.2. 20 watts is a little bit too low. 35 watts, 0 0.2, 35 watts. It was just ramping up really quick, so I don't want to go too bananas with the uh, with the wattage. Forget about it. Well, this is my new favorite vape. Oh man, Jake. I forgot how completely delicious this Vanilla bourbon honey tobacco is. He killed it. That's one of the best tobaccos commercial DIY ever. I'm hoping that it's, you know, doing some wicking. The, the stainless steel cables do look uh, very nicely, completely saturated to the very top. I hope I'm not just vaping the juice off of the coil and then I'm going to get a dry hit soon. But here's what I'll say. Airflow is wacky smooth. Wacky smooth. It's plentiful, at least with the insert that I have in there. This does, I'm assuming, go down. It looked like about a one millimeter mouth to lung. These Twisted Timmy coils are crackling. The juice is delicious. The drip tip is comfortable and retro-y. It, it all came together. It all came together into a really nice, nice little vape. And you don't have to hit it like it's a cloud comp, you know? I just hit it hard to avoid, you know, drying this. Just like you thought, <laughs> you know? Just like you thought. I'm sure it will all work out fine. And it did. This bangs. That f Jake, that flavor is, it's just so nostalgic for me now. You hear the crackle happening? It's a rumbly of a crackle. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is crackly. That's the crackle that we're all after, sick boy. Are you vaping a frog? I want someone to ask me if I'm vaping a frog, sick boy. Damn it. Good. This is just good. There's no way around it. That crackle is delightful. This flavor is rocking. I've taken at least five or six toots on it. Nothing dry yet. Seems to be wicking, you know? It's one of those things that like, you never know if it's wicking until it's dry because I can't readily open this and look at my coils to see if they're saturated. You're just, it's a complete guessing game. You just, every toot I take, hope this one's not dry, hope this one's not dry. This is really good. This is a really, really effing good. And I'm not necessarily saying that the stubby is like straight next level, really good. This is just something, it all came together. You know, it all came together. I have a crackly coil. It's wicking. 
The liquid inside, delicious. Brand new, stubby, big tank, 18650 on the inside. It's a little pocketable, palmable little, little device. I love it when it all comes together. Ashton, Ashton, yes. <laughs> this shit right here. I love this vape. I, I'm, I'm literally in love with this vape right now. Just keeps wicking. Just keeps holding up. Damn, this liquid is good. Yeah, Bogan's going to make a million dollars. These are really good. That stubby's great. Someday I'd like to make a million dollars like Bogan, but this stubby is going to kill it. Huge capacity. It's wick. I mean, I what have I already said? What can I say that I haven't already said about it? I'm loving literally everything about this right now, especially with the tugboat drip tip. Fuck, that's good. It does come with speeds. I'm, I'm not going to do it right now, but it does come with an adapter for regular Boro tanks. Re re regular Boro adapter. I don't, I don't want to swap it out literally right now. I'll save that for when I do a full review. Expect that in like, I don't know, a month and a half. I'm so behind. I'm crazy behind and I keep, I'm putting out videos like every single day and I feel like I can't, can't get caught up. Straight up cannot get caught up. Okay, I love this. I love this. It's 8 p.m., which means that this vlog is three and a half hours long. Good night, Gunny. I hope you have a good night, buddy. Let's quickly, let's spend like the next 20 minutes. We're just going to do some super chats and some very random liquid tasting. It's an all tribal Buddha, very random liquid tasting. Get excited. Uh, I actually, I broke the seal and so bad things are happening. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Let's do a very random liquid tasting. Let's check in on some super chats uh, real quick. That's all you get. And uh, we're gonna do some uh, we're gonna do some very random liquid tastings uh, as we do some super chattings. That's that's happening uh, right now. Not sure where I left off. That's right. Fishy. Uh, yeah. Well. The beeper looks weird. I want it. What's your PayPal Venmo again? <laughs> You're already trying to buy the beeper? Already trying to buy the beeper. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I'm not just going to sell you the beeper, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I have patrons um, that I am, uh, you know, loyal to. I kind of go out of my way. Let's save some cool shit for the patrons. So that's definitely where the beeper is going to going. It's, it's definitely where the other stubby is going to be going. I do have a Patreon. There's a link in the description. Um, the 10 and $20 tiers get you access to all sorts of fun stuff. Secret Instagram account that I stream on as well as a really rocking ass discord. Um, 
uh, really rocking ass Discord that I like a lot. So join the Patreon. Get in, get in on that, get in on that hot Patreon action if you want to. Queen Honey Bunny, you, you Queen Honey Bunny, send me a dancing fox with hearts all over it. Appreciate you, Kennedy. I hate that I cannot swear in the super chat. Can you really not swear in the super chat? Is that my settings? Const. Uh, YouTube is constantly telling me. Oh, you know, you can make your comments more, you know, you can implement more rules for your comments. You can have all sorts of like blacklisted words. You can, you know, like make your comments really restrictive. And I'm like, I don't, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? So if that's a setting on my side, like I have to change it so you guys can curse in the, in the super chats, I will change it. I want obscenities in the super chats. It's encouraged. Cicero. Went to the pool today, peed in the deep end. Typical Cicero. Lifeguard saw me, blew his whistle so hard I almost fell in. <laughs> ah, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. That was funny, Cicero. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, I, I don't know exactly what's going on here. Um, uh, the other ret... I typically lurk, but hoping there's room for two rats. Of course. Of course. Why would there not be two, room for two rats? There's room for one rat. There's room for two rats. Welcome the other rat. Unless, like I'm in, I'm immediately skeptical, bro. Because rat, he's a rascal. You know, he's an instigator. He's a catalyst. I don't know that that's not just Rhett's beard and he quickly made another YouTube account and, and now he's like double trolling me. There's a very strong possibility that that's reality right now. I want to give the other Rhett benefit of the doubt. And if you are an actual other Rhett, welcome. We'll take three, four, five Rhett's. Who cares? I want you being here. Now the Rhett's beard with an exclamation point now. Oh, oh that's to signify Alaska, right? Would you say you have a plethora of rats? No, I mean, I wouldn't say that, but is two a plethora? If a plethora is two or more, then yes, we have a plethora. If a plethora is like eight and above, then we had a long way to go. We got a long way to go. Too many rats for me, I'm out of here. Ranger Rusty's just done. He's like, no, nah. that's yes, too many rats, sorry. Too many Rhett's beards. Let's, let's let's end this stream, you guys. It's been a, a, an absolute joy and pleasure to get to hang out with you guys again on Thursday. I don't know why it just created a poll. Just yes, no. We're going to end that poll. There's the results. Let me ask a question. Random liquid tasting. Seven people voted in that. 28% 28, 28 of you said no. Dang. All right. If if Buddha's here, if Buddha's still here, we're doing a full tribal Buddha liquid tasting tonight. The full, the full tribal Buddha. So let's go with uh, the first one on the list here. I don't know why that was all caps. Let's go with the uh, second one here. And then we'll go with this one here. This came just uh, not, not that long ago. I think this arrived last week. You guys are gonna have to vote. All right, here we go. Vote in the vote the, the polls in the polls in the chat right now. Your uh, your choices are blue Buddha tinctures, pear apple teeny, blue Buddha tinctures, Kinder Bueno. A kinder is bueno. A kinder is bueno. And then, lastly, Blue Buddha Tinctures Pumpkin Spooch. So we got Apple Teeny, the Kinder Bueno, and the Pumpkin Spooch. Please, please vote now. You know how the song goes. I don't make me sing it. All right, I will. Two, three. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Not funky. It's not a celebration. 
If you don't vote to die, then you don't get to vote funky. It's <laughs> it's a celebration. It's a stubby stubby. The dimensions are 77.0 millimeters by 43.0 millimeters by 30.0 millimeters. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote stubby. It's a celebration. I'm afraid I'm going to break this board if I if I jam it in there. It's a ce Oh, that's right. I can't say that. Uh, if you're if you're jelly in your cheese, just keep it up. Just keep going. You're doing great. You know. <sighs> TJ, hell yes. TJ, I love the crap out of that. Seven years smoke free. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. How is the poll doing? I haven't checked. Oh, a Kinder is Bueno is really taking the lead here. Pear Apple Teeny coming in second place. Uh, Pumpkin Spooge actually moving into second place. Pear Apple Teeny sitting handsomely in third. Uh, my Kinder Bueno was not part of the IG contest. Eas easily rectified. I will make sure to say that. Oh, that's right. I can. Lee. Dicks and masturbation. <laughs> that's funny. That's just funny. If you don't vote right now, then you're never going to vote funky. Dicks and masturbation. 120 votes. Oh, wow. The pumpkin spoo just kind of... uh. Go, gone ahead a little bit. Let's see. I, I'm, I'm just going to wait for a few more. Just, yeah. I'm just going to wait for a few more votes. Yeah. I'm just going to wait for a few more votes. I'm going to enjoy this this stubby. Okay, let's end it and finally taste some liquid. It looks like with 48% of the votes, the Kinder Bueno, a Kinder Kinder Bueno, has won the challenge. We're going to taste this literally right now. I have a, uh, I had something set aside. There, I are, there you go. Bye. Snowcap, squonk, with an Alexa on top, freshly built, freshly wicked Alexa. Let's get into this Kinder Bueno. It's a, it's a little single coil banger. All right, I'm not going to lie. When I smell it, it smells a little bit like a Kinder Bueno. Yeah, correct, Jim Bubba. If you didn't vote, you're, you're not funky. But if you do vote, then I guess you are funky and it's a celebration. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, okay. It's 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 like chocolatey, wafery. Hazelnuts? Okay, off the knuckle, off the knuckle, Mr. Blue Buddha tinctures. Real good, real good. We're just gonna, you know, this is old school rules. If it's awesome, it's gonna go in the squonk. If it's not, then it won't, you know? And that's, uh, that's just the level, you know, it's just the bar. I'm just gonna, uh, Make sure I got a fresh battery in here. Ah, you know, don't want any, uh... It's a mechanical squonker, you know, so I don't want any uh, shenanigans going on here. I want it hitting. There it is. There it is. I want it hitting nice and hard. 
I could tell. That was weak sticks right out of the gate. All right, Mr. Buddha. Here we go. Blue Buddhas. I can't, why can't I think of the name? Kinder Bueno. A, a Kinder is Bueno. Here we go. Cheers. Let's have a first toot. Okay. Uh, let me sit with this for just a hot minute. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. Uh, it's seventh floor tango time, so I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, Tribal Buddha. Okay. You jerk. This is a really good. This is a really good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to hold back most of my excitement, but I'm going to say something that I, I'm, I don't think I'll regret. I do not think I'll regret. I think this is the best chocolate flavor I, I may have ever had. I can't recall a chocolate flavor being this good. I can't recall a chocolate flavor that didn't remind me of like powdered cocoa or sticky kid hands or like popsicle sticks. Like chocolate generally kind of grosses me out a little bit. This is squonkable. I'd say it's sessionable. <laughs> it's a sessionable. <laughs> it is squonkable. It, it's really squonkable. I'm sorry for running so long, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People are peeling off left and right. Look, sometimes the vlog's a marathon. Someday we'll do like a nice little two-hour vlog. Chocolate, wafer, hazelnut. This is a Kinder Bueno in a vape. Maybe a little bit chocolate heavy, but that does not bother me. I think the chocolate heaviness kind of balances out like the rest of it kind of rounds it all out the hazelnut's not too sharp and the wafer is really like there i i get the vibe that you it's a combo of chocolates yeah there's no i can't break down liquids in my head anymore i used to be able to do that simply cannot there is too many flavor combinations too many different flavorings and tribal buddha is an experienced mixer who mixes good liquids, and I know that he's gonna be the guy that's like, no, this is gonna have 
eight different chocolates in it. You know, <laughs> it's going to have eight different chocolates in it. It's going to be wafery. It's going to be hazelnutty. It's literally awesome. Awesome. What up, JMod 180? Hope you're doing good, man. Welcome to the vlog. Glad to see you here. Uh, the Alexa's great. And that's maybe adding to the flavor because the Alexa is kind of a real big flavor banger RDA. But man, Tribal Buddha. Dude, I think you knocked this out of the park. It's, it's sweet. The chocolate. I, I can't get over it. Okay, three chocolates. Okay, well, don't spill all your secrets here, Tribal Buddha. Uh, really very good. Tribal Buddha, this is a great Kinder Bueno. I am so pleasantly surprised by this because I, I saw Kinder Bueno. I'm thinking in my head, chocolate, that's going to ruin me. It's like chocolate, little sticky kid hands, popsicle sticks, and powdered cocoa, and like everything bad <laughs> about chocolate ends up in a vape all the time. This chocolate rules. Like, this chocolate rules. Tribal Buddha, you killed it. This is delicious. It's a perfect level of sweetness. It's zero throaty. It's just delicious. This is better than Golden Ticket. This is better than Golden Ticket. Scott, I saw that. Golden Ticket is industry renowned. Like every vapor I've ever talked to about chocolate e-liquids, it's always Golden Ticket. Golden Ticket, Golden Ticket. This knocks Golden Ticket's dick in the dirt. I don't know why I said that, but it does. This is great. Like between these two setups, that's it. This is all I need right here. Get rid of everything else. Okay, no, maybe not this or this or the Hexome or the Eclipse. Never mind. <laughs> ne never mind. I don't know if uh, Blue Buddha, I don't know if you sell this. Tribal Buddha, I don't know if you sell this or if you have the liquid recipe somewhere, but if you are even remotely interested in vaping a really stellar chocolate flavor, you don't necessarily have to love hazelnut or Kinder Buenos to enjoy this. The, everything else just, just complements the chocolate in such a good way. How did you do this? It's just rock and roll. It's good. This is damn hell ass good. Damn damn hell ass good, Beecher. Hey, everybody. It's Beecher Howard. RDA for Vaping V2. The hype is real. The hype is hella real. It's like the best RDA in the last two years. Maybe longer than that. Maybe longer than that, Beecher. And see, now I don't know if other Rhett and Rhett are like, carry on. Some sort of fake conversation. He could be a real ret, I, you know, I don't know. Okay, you guys, here we are. We're officially at the end. Let me let me kill the seventh floor tango. Let me take one quick look around the room and make sure I didn't forget anything. If you have anything you want to tell me, now's the time. I think I got it all. That's right. Winner of the Cali burn. That means next week we can do another giveaway, and next week we can do another giveaway, and next week we can do another giveaway. Although it's not a giveaway, technically. It's a contest, isn't it? It's a contest. We had a little bit of a contest, you know. Uh, Swazzy, Asgard Mini, good? Yes. That is a good RDA. I slept on the Asgard Mini for way too long. Way too long. I slept on the Asgard Mini for probably six months of people telling me to get it and buy it and vape it because it's awesome. I finally got an Asgard Mini. Blew me away. Really good. R real, real good. Real good. This chocolate. I cannot stop vaping this chocolate. It is. It's a contest. It's a contest, you know. It's a contest. I meant... Oh, Swazzy. Wait, what was your question? Asgard Mini Good? Oh, oh, oh. 
is the RDA for vaping V2 as good? I mean, in my opinion, absolutely. Uh, unequivocally good. Total misunderstanding, it was, but we got it sorted out. Every bit is good. Every bit is good. Every bit is good, Swazzy. Can't recommend it enough. If you're a fan of RDAs, you have no excuse to not buy the RDA for vaping V2. It's kick-ass 9,000. It's a whole other level of good. I really like it. Oh, mixed squad, right on, man. Five years smoke-free. I love it. I love it. I love the crap out of that. Okay, that's it. What a great vlog. What a really fun-ass great vlog. Dude, we built the drop dead. It took us like an hour, but we did it. We got we had some of the best chocolate ever on the market. We got a stubby that is filled with honey bourbon tobacco that's just killing it right now. We got we got Olipop sodas. I, I forgot to promote Jacob Greer's book, but Jacob Greer, who wrote that op-ed for the Oregon uh, for the Oregonian, this is his book, The Rediscovery of Tobacco Smoking, Vaping, and the Creative Destruction of the Cigarette. Definitely go check it out. Definitely do the CASA calls to actions. This is all I'm going to say. I love you guys. I love vlog day. I look forward to it all the time. Super fun. Beecher Howard might release the RDA for vaping V2 in maybe a week. We'll see how that goes. If you can get one, get one. If you can't get one, get one anyway. Steal one. Punch someone and get it because it's worth it. It is. It's damn hell ass good. There's just no way the way to put it, the other ret. Anyway, peace out, you guys. I think I'm going to end this here, and we're good. Vlog day rules. I'll see you guys here uh, next week for another vlog day. Fuck yeah, vlog day. And uh, thank thank you guys, not only just for coming out and showing your support and just being being generally awesome, but you guys have created such a like a, a cool atmosphere in the chat, and I like that people feel welcomed here, and I like that someone can kind of jump in and just say hey and people will be like hey what's up we're just just hanging out super chats you're right super chat good call ranger rusty good call but thank you guys for making the grim green vlog such like a cool place to hang out and like such a welcoming place for people to to just come and and be awesome and i, and I love it sewer rug ranger rusty too many rats ranger rusty's out too many rats that's one too many Hella rad stream, Grim Green. Yo yo tendencies all over this place. Catch you on the flip side. Latest on the Men J. Uh, Alex Board, that's very gracious of you. Shout out uh, from St. Louis. Uh, missed most of the vlog. Catch you on the replay. Oh, yeah. Say it wrong. Naya Chrome. <laughs> love you, Grim. Hey, Alex, love you, bro. I'll say Naya Chrome all day long. Naya Chrome until I die. Gonna put Naya Chrome on my gravestone. Just on my tombstone. It's just gonna say Grim Green. Niachrome. <laughs> Holy shit. And then Ranger Rusty, nothing better than Vlog Day. Love you and the cool kids. Be excellent to each other. Absolutely. We're going to take Ranger Rusty's advice. We're going we're gonna to vape no matter what. We're going to be proud vapors. We're going to defend vaping. And we are going to be excellent to each other. Be excellent to strangers. Like, life is hard enough that we don't need to just be fucking picking at each other all the time. Why do we do that? I don't like this trend. Like, let's chill out and let's be awesome and let's not pick at each other because life is hard enough. So good night, you guys. Uh, I, I love you. Peace out. All good things. Be excellent to each other. F the FDA.